started right here today and I think it's going to be important for as I said earlier for Chad Pennington to to show that he can throw the ball and throw it early. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out on, on, on the first offensive play and threw a deep one. And they're going to get the ball because Nate Kading a rookie out of Iowa picked in the third round very high for a kicker. There he is to another rookie Jericho Cotchery who's the new Jets run back man. He took over a few weeks ago. He ran one back 94 yards for a touchdown last week at St. Louis. Still some smoke from the fireworks enveloping the stadium. But here we go in San Diego with a kick fielded by Cotchery at the five yard line and straight up the middle he comes to the 27 yard line. First and 10 there for the Jets and here they are offensively. Chad Pennington, Marshall, Curtis Martin, Pitt, Gerald Soul, Tulane University, Justin McCarran's Northern Illinois, Santana Moss, University of Miami, Anthony Beck, West Virginia, Jason Fabini, University of Cincinnati, Pete Kendall, Boston College, Kevin Mawai, LSU, Brandon Moore, University of Illinois, Cream Kizzy, D State. So Pennington leads them to the line. The ball is at the 26 yard line. Martin is the running back and they begin on the ground with the NFL rushing champion for no game tackled by the safety Terrence Keel. Here are the Charger defensive starters. Jocks is there, Southern Connecticut State, Jamal Williams, Oklahoma State University. Igor Olshansky, University of Oregon. Ben Lincoln, Kansas State University. Donnie Edwards, Chula Vista High School. Randall Godfrey, University of Georgia Bulldogs. Steve Foley, and Hanger here high. Quinn Jammer, University of Texas. Terrence Kill, University of Texas A&M. Jerry Wilson, Southern University. Drake Florence, Tuskegee University. That's Wade Phillips, the defensive coordinator starters, and Pennington to throw. And with double coverage, the pass is knocked away by Quentin Jammer. They try to go to McCarran's. Good coverage by the San Diego secondary, and that is a secondary that ranked 31st in pass defense out of the 32 teams. Right, and I think there was, this was still a good play here by Chad Pennington to come out and, and, and throw the ball and try and throw it deep. Now, they went maximum protection. They really only had one receiver out there, so when you only have one receiver going deep, you're going to have two or three defenders right around them. Now, his motion there looked pretty normal. Looked normal, and again, that shoulder injured in November at Buffalo. He missed three starts and hasn't looked the same since. Third down and nine, the deep drop, the little hop by Pennington, and then he finds the open man up at the 44-yard line, and as you suggested, John, they go early to Santana Moss and pick up a first down. Yeah, and I think, I think that's the thing that Herm Edwards was talking about that he would like to do is, is to get Chad Pennington out there Throw the ball, get it to an explosive player. An explosive player is Santana Moss. Now you see, as you say, he hopped into that one. One of the things that, going to Chad, Chad Pennington, he said the thing that he worries about is overcompensate. He'll feel that his shoulder is bad. He doesn't have enough strength there, so overcompensate with other parts. That time he didn't. 16-yard gain. Off the play fake, buying some time. Pennington going deep again. And that pass is incomplete. Justin McCarran's the intended receiver. Herm Edwards finishing his fourth year. It's the third time he's taken the Jets to the playoffs. First time in the history of the franchise. They've made three postseason appearances in a four-year span. And as you can see, the rain is going to probably come and go tonight. And right now it's coming pretty good. You know, and, and Paul Hackett is the offensive coordinator and calls the plays. But Herm Edwards interjected a little this week. And that was one of the things he interjected. Let's try and get the ball to Santana Moss early and deep. Second and ten. Martin to the 45. Paul Hackett is the man who's really been under fire. You and I both read all of the papers. Hackett has gotten, I wouldn't say the press is bad, but a guy serving a 20-year prison term or a former Enron executive gets better publicity these days than Hackett does. Yeah, and, you know, that's the thing today, isn't it? That, you know, that they need a, a scapegoat. And if you can't do anything about the quarterback because he's injured and you just gave him a big uh, contract and you like the head coach, then you have to go to someone, and sometimes that, that that sacrificial lamb becomes that offensive coordinator. This time Hackett calls in a play that empties the backfield on third down and eight. That's Martin now reassuming his normal position, staying in the block. 
Pennington throwing, and that's caught at the San Diego 40 by Justin McCarron. So Pennington comes out throwing, and the Jets are on the move early. 16 yards there. And I think this is very smart by the Jets for two reasons. One, to establish that Chad Pennington could throw the ball, and two, that if it's going to be a wet field and it's going to be a slow field, get it now while it's still relatively dry and relatively fast. Very good protection here. That's the thing. I mean, you just have to give Chad Pennington enough time to find his receiver and step up in the pocket. Now Martin comes out and Lamont Jordan comes in. Martin's back up and the guy who averaged better than five yards a carry. And they give it to him. And Jordan, who can bust one, has a first down and a 16-yard gain. So two 16-yard passes and now a run here by Lamont Jordan. Yeah, it was, it was funny talking to Herm Edwards, and he said, you know, explosive players, and, and you're going to have to get the explosive players into the game. And the two guys that he talked about were Santana Moss and Lamont Jordan. But you're going to get a lead, a good lead block there by the fullback, good block by the center. They've got some movement. Jamal Williams is a big factor in that run game, 76 for the Chargers. They have to get him blocked if they're going to run the ball. The Jets start with three sweet 16s. 16 yard gains on two passes and a run. And now Jordan chugs his way for a couple. Takes it to the 22 yard line. So Jordan who may see more action tonight during the regular year. He only carried four times in the first quarter. And here comes the oldest rushing champion in the history of the NFL at 31 and eight months. You know in the in the whole San Diego Charger defense was was based to to stop Curtis Martin. I mean you know they figured that that he not only carries the ball all the time he's the guy that they have to stop but in the first 15 plays they broke it down in six games he touches the ball more than half the times not in this game. Second down and nine and more than four minutes into the game. Pennington will take off and take it to the 17 yard line. He's hit there by the outside linebacker Ben Lieber. A little short of the first down, about three yards, in fact. I don't know that I want to use the word brilliant uh, this early in the game, but I think what the Jets are doing offensively is brilliant because you know, they come into this game and they say that, you know, Chad Pennington can't throw the ball. It's going to be a running game. We got to stop Curtis Martin and get eight men up and come out passing and loosen up that Charger defense early. Marty Schottenheimer looking on as his team faces another third down here. This is the opening drive of the game. The Jets have already moved 57 yards. Joel Soule, the fullback, is in motion. Martin is out in the flat. Pennington throws, and the pass is caught, but it's short of the first down. He goes underneath the Justin McCarrens. Randall Godfrey, the linebacker, along with Ben Lieber, stop him, and it will be fourth down and a short two. You know, and then, and then you, what do you do on fourth down? This is the one that you're going to have to kick. You're going to see Justin McCarron's coming around here, and you see the yellow line all the way. Now, he's really underneath that first down marker on his pattern. Had he just gone about two or three yards deeper, he would have had a shot at it. You know, Chad Pennington was saying last night that we're not very good in the red zone. The Jets haven't been very good there. He said, but we're very good in the goal line. He said, if we can just get the ball and we get it in the red zone, get it to the goal line, <laughs> then we're pretty successful. Requesting a measurement. It's well short of the first down, but the Jets want to see just how far. So I said a short two. It's a long one. Well, in the confidence in that goal line offense, they could use it right here if they wanted to go for it because short yardage and goal line offense is really the same thing. The Jets aren't going to do it. Curtis Martin won the rushing title by that measurement one yard over Sean Alexander of Seattle and that's too much for Herman Edwards to decide to go for it. They'll settle for a three point attempt from Doug Bryan 33 yarder Toby going to hold it. I think this is a smart play. James Durth to snap it. In the rain. And the kick is wide to the right. Snap was perfect. Hold was good. And Brian comes up empty. Chargers with the football when we come back. <laughs> In the boys. Looks like you fellas are having some kind of party. No, 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 sir. no party at all. See, we've had reports of referees taking people's Bud Light and replacing it with Miller Light. 
Oh, that's, that's awful. so wrong. Man, that's Absolutely. Yeah, it's bad. Listen, guys, I'm going to need to see a receipt for that Bud Line. Jerry, you got that oh, receipt? Yeah, a receipt. Yeah, I got it right. Run! Some people will do anything to get the great taste of Bud Light. Fresh, smooth, real. It's all here. We got zebras on the run. Requesting backup. Antonio Gates are in there. Drew Brees out of Purdue. Comeback player of the year in the NFL. And their first play from scrimmage will be a breeze pass if he can get it off. Rolling to his left. Patient finds Peel, the other tight end, playing on the other side of the Pro Bowl bound Gates. And it's a first down on San Diego's first play. Yeah, and that was great pass protection. That was going to be a quick pass, and you could see Drew Breeze backs out. He was trying to throw short and quick, and it was covered. Then he has to hold it and hold it and hold it. Watch him. See, he's going to there. Then he has to hold it, hold it. But look at that pass protection to give him all the time for Peel to get that deep. 20 yards for a guy who had caught only 10 balls all year. And now LaDainian Tomlinson's first carry takes him up to the 44 yard line for Tomlinson he's been in the league now four years played his college football at TCU signed a long term contract in the offseason when he had a chance maybe to, to play out the contract and go someplace else and that was a big statement for this franchise in, in motion he goes and then Breeze throws to the outside and it's caught there by Antonio Gates who made a Big splash this year. He's tripped up, and here's the Charger offense. Drew Brees, Purdue Boilermakers. The Danny and Tomlinson, TCU. Lorenzo Neal, Fresno State University. Eric Parker, Joliet Township High School. Keenan McCardell, UNLV. Tony Gates, Kent State University. Roman Oben, Louisville Cardinals. Tanu Oyevaya Versa Telefono T, University of Nebraska. Nick Hardwick, Purdue. Mike Goff, Iowa Hawkeyes. Shane Olivier, The Ohio State University. That offensive line, coached by Hudson Howe, is some story, which we'll detail as we go along here. Third down and six out of the shotgun. Breeze throws over the middle and underneath, and then slipping down short of the first down after he makes the catch at the 49-yard line is Eric Parker. So he loses his footing, and San Diego will have to kick. San Diego had an interesting start there. They they get that first down, and then they, they go no huddle. They kind of caught the Jets off balance. Then they went back into a huddle. And then the Jets kind of got their defense coordinated again. Mike Cyphers will punch Santana Moss despite that hamstring and the wet field running back the punt. You know, this guy's a heck of a punter, Al. I mean, this, this, this is another part of the Chargers story. Floater here, fair catch call for, and it pins New York at the 10-yard line. Does his job there, Moss with a fair catch. Jets have it for the second time with no score halfway through. The opening quarter. It's a totally new full-size sedan. Introducing the Ford 500. Its command seating lifts you up, improves your view, and heightens your confidence. While its first-class accommodations give you the freedom to spread out. It takes the sedan to a much higher level. The new Ford 500. Elevating the sedan. Ford, built for the road ahead. Tostitos, oops. So that's where Jack gets it from. Tostito Scoops, the only tortilla chip with a unique bowl shape, so you get the perfect dip every time. All with zero grams of trans fat. It's a construction grain. <laughs> we should do this more often. Tostitos, share something good. I can't believe he swallowed my cell phone. Um, sounds like he's on hold. Your wait time is 46 minutes. <laughs> It's peak hours. Ooh, daytime charges. And you could be roaming. Is your wireless company charging you a fortune? I'm going in. Come to T-Mobile and talk whenever nationwide. Whenever. Now get 1,000 whenever minutes, free nights and weekends, just $45.99. T-Mobile, get more. A widow and her family watched all of their dreams go up in smoke. Roseanne and her daughters were basically homeless. Now, our team is off to a remote destination for their most extreme mission yet. People's Choice nominee Extreme Makeover Home Edition, all new, Sunday, 8, 7 central, only on ABC. San Diego about half past five. 
Sundown, rain coming down. Field though in pretty good shape. Michelle talking about it. They had it covered. If this were a racetrack, it would still be listed as fast. 11 yard line. Jets start their second drive. Martin cuts it back. Flag is thrown. Ed Hockley's crew will work the game. It's our first penalty of the night. Holding offense, number 66. Half the distance to the goal, we see first down. That's Pete Candle who started the season in Arizona, and then he was released by Dennis Green and came here. Herman Edwards actually coached under Marty Schottenheimer when Marty was in Kansas City. Herm for three seasons was the defensive backfield coach. Then went to the front office, and then Tony Dungy brought him back into coaching as an assistant at Tampa Bay, and then he got the Jets job in 2001. First and 15 from the five-yard line. Martin again with a big hole over the right side. Out to the 18-yard line tackled by the linebacker Steve Foley. You know, Kevin Mawai gets everything started here. When you play that three-man line, we always talk about that. You have to get a block on the on the nose tackle on Jamal Williams. Then he gets in there behind Moore and McKenzie on that right side. You see they block down, they block down, and they, they start to take away the inside, and, and he just goes to the outside. Here's Mawai. Here's where it all starts, right here. You can't let him get penetration. If he gets penetration, that fouls up the run in the backfield. Good block as well by Beck to second down and three at the 18-yard line. The fake, and that buys a ton of time, and Pennington can't make it pay off. And a flag comes in, though. Justin McCarron's flag in the secondary. The coverage on Drayton Florence. That was a good read by Chad Pennington. I mean, that's what you're looking for. He has McCarron zero in the end, and he can lead him. It's just man-to-man -man coverage. Rayton Florence was right there with him. What they're doing is they're playing right, eight men up. Defense number 29 before the pass is thrown. Five-yard penalty and an automatic first down. The Chargers are playing eight men up to stop the run, so this this passing is really going to be open. You see the eight men up here. Now, once once McCarron starts to the inside right here, the safety is going to the other side. If he just runs away from Florence a little more, that could have been a big, big play. Michelle addressed the injury to Sammy Davis, the right corner at the top of the show. He's down. He has been down. Though Florence has been playing a lot, but Davis would otherwise assume the starting role there. First down and 10 from the 23-yard line. And a little dump off to Martin. And Martin picks up the first down, and Curtis gets up to the 35-yard line. There's been a lot of talk about Chad Pennington and his footwork, and he says what happens when you, when you have a bad shoulder, a bad throwing shoulder, then you, you try and compensate. And he said, you know, for the last couple of weeks, he'd been compensating, and his footwork wasn't right. But now, now he has a wet feel, and you see his footwork. Now, that's pretty good. I mean, that's what he takes his drop. Then he takes his hop, and then he makes his throw. At the 35-yard line, first down for the Jets, who have 84 yards thus far in the first period. And Pennington swings it out to McCarron. You know, you're looking at a drive like this, and, and the Jets will nibble at you. I mean, last week, they went into the locker room after controlling the ball almost the whole first half trailing. And they had numbers on one drive last week, John. I can't even remember seeing. 14 plays, 37 yards. Yeah, I mean, that's that's three yards in a cloud of dust in uh, Ohio State offense. That's Terrence Keel who's shaken up for San Diego. Scent is the strongest sense tied to memory. How will you be remembered? Introducing Red Zone Body Spray in four great scents that all last longer than the leading body spray. He's so great. Red Zone Body Spray. Spice things up all day, all night. You can also smell great with Red Zone Invisible Solid and Body Wash. You say you were at a bar with some friends, and these guys just came out of nowhere and took your Bud Light. Yeah, that's right. And they gave you this. You think you can pick them out of a lineup? Oh, yeah. That's them. Four, five, six, step forward. 
Run! Some people will do anything to get the great taste of Bud Light. Fresh, smooth, real. It's all here. A renewed sense of confidence has come to the full-size sedan. Introducing the Ford 500. It combines the control of front wheel or available all-wheel drive with an innovative reinforced structure for precise handling and a secure feeling on the road. The new Ford 500, elevating the sedan. Ford, built for the road ahead. Start the new year. Of all people, you pick that tired piece of Edie. With new housewives. You have the hots for our Annie. And new dirt. Martha's missing. They found the body. And all new Desperate Housewives, Sunday 9, 8 central only on ABC. Good news for the Chargers. Keel was down, but he comes trotting off the field. They'll take a look, and for the moment, Clinton Park comes in to replace him. You see, it's his own guy. It's number 78, De De Quincy Scott. Gets that left knee right there. And luckily, Keel got the foot out of the ground. Second down and three now for the Jets from the 42. And Martin is able to thread his way up to the 47. Curtis Martin, 10th year. Every year he's been in the league, and he started, you'll recall, with the Patriots and then came to the Jets when Parcells brought him to New York. 10 years, each over 1,000 yards. 1697 one more than Alexander yards per carry which normally averages about 4.0 4.6 and didn't lose a fumble that's nothing new here's a guy who almost never fumbles and I think that that is the definition of steady excellence first and 10 47 little flea flicker and Pennington has time and throws over the middle and the receiver McCarron slips so he had gotten open and then Pennington got it down there but he slips to the turf and it's second and ten. Well he had he had McCarron's coming across and then he had the deep guy and that's the one he was trying to hit. He had Santana Moss down the sideline deep and if you look here he looks out there to the right first and he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have Moss deep so he, he comes off to get McCarron's. McCarron slips and I don't know that that was a very good throw. McCarron's coming over to trade. With the Titans in the offseason, again to be joined this late. Corbett is inactive tonight. Jets minus a receiver, second down and 10 from the 47 yard line. Off the fake, out in the flat, it comes to Lamont Jordan. He's across the 50 into San Diego territory to the 49 yard line. It'll be third down and six with four minutes to play in the scoreless first quarter. Yeah, and the Jets are moving the ball. I mean, they got down there the last time on that third down. I thought McCarron's on that crossing pattern kind of left him a little short then they had a kick and they missed the kick now they're going again pretty well but this is a big thing can they pick up this third down here to keep this drive alive the inactive Corvette on the sideline hoping to play next week as are all of the Jets winner of this game will play either in New England or Pittsburgh third down and six and Pennington throws and it's caught by Chris Baker but he gets whacked by Clinton Hart, the guy who came in for the injured Terrence Keel, and it's fourth down, and here comes the Jet Punny group. Yeah, very good, very good defense. And what they do is the Chargers come on a blitz. Now that makes Pennington get rid of the ball quickly, and then when he has to get rid of it quickly, it's to the short guy, and then they tackle him, and they don't get the first down. They'll be going. That's what I hate about that hot receiver stuff. You know, they, they, they come on a blitz, and you go to the hot receiver, and he's too short for the first down. Going with an angle kick. Fair catch called for and made by Eric Parker at the 12-yard line. And that's where Breeze and company go to work with 251 remaining in the first quarter in San Diego. Jets nothing. Chargers nothing. You done done me wrong. Done done me wrong. So I'm moving on. Probably stay too long. For the 28th straight year, Ford was chosen more often than any other brand of truck, setting an all-time sales record. Hey, man, grab me one. McNair to Owens. He's at the 20, the 10. Touchdown. Oh, there's a flag on the play. This one's coming back. 
Make this the wildest NFL playoffs ever with a new bolder taste of Wild Cherry Pepsi. Never mind. It's the Cherry Cola, also available in diet. I'm Javon Curtis. Do you want to take a ride to the Super Bowl in the Wild Cherry Pepsi private jet? This could be you. Not in our house, buddy. Not today. Oh, no! This ain't going down! Not today, 99! Today, not tomorrow. Nobody coming in here. Not in our house. Not in our house. Visa, official card of the NFL and the house of the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots, where they accept no other card to get you in. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Play 60 Minutes and you can win the Super Bowl. Volunteer 60 Minutes and you can make a difference in your community. Visit jointheteam.com to join the NFL's volunteer drive. ESPN bookending the playoff games tomorrow. Countdown at 11 Eastern. Then prime time to wrap it all up at 10 p.m. Eastern. Two wild card games tomorrow. Denver at Indianapolis. And then Minnesota goes to Green Bay. Earlier today, the Rams advanced. 27-20. Came Cleveland caught the winning touchdown pass. He's been with them two years. Has caught no touchdown passes in the regular season. And then gets a huge one today. From the 12 yard line, San Diego on first down. LaDainian Tomlinson puts the shoulder down and picks up eight to the 20. Let's take a look at the Jet defense. Sean Elliott, Tennessee. Dwayne Robinson, University of Kentucky. Jason Ferguson, UGA. Brian Thomas, UAB. Mark Brown, 2005 National Champions, Home Tiger. Jonathan Velma, University of Miami. Eric Barton, Eastside Dublin. Donnie Abraham, East Tennessee State. Reggie Tung, Oregon State. Eric Coleman, Washington State University. David Berg, University of Arkansas. Major Shtick, second and two from the 20-yard line. Here's Tomlinson up to the 25-yard line. John, for Tomlinson, this is kind of a, a coming-out party of sorts. I mean, people who, who watch the game, who know the game, but don't get a chance to watch the Chargers that much because they haven't played particularly well over the years and haven't been on a lot of nationally televised games, will all of a sudden begin to know a lot about this guy. Yeah, and, and he's one of those, those backs that can do it all. I mean, last year he caught uh, 100 passes. You know, he's as good a runner as, he, as there is. He's a, he's a very tough guy, a good blocker. And I don't know that if I had to pick a running back in the NFL that I wouldn't pick Medanian Thomas. Jets moving around defensively and Breeze changing the play. And it lines up as a pass to the right side. And it's caught out there by Eric Parker. And Parker is close to a first down. And when you look at Tomlinson, if he looks a little different and used to seeing him play, it's because of the visor. He wears that dark visor. But tonight, because of the rain, the rain gives him a problem. He doesn't have it on. Yeah, he said that's the only time that he can't wear that visor. And it is an adjustment. Talked to him about it the other night. And he said that it happened once earlier in the season against Denver at rain, so he didn't have the visor on. Final minute of the opening period. Second down and one. Breeze has started the game four for four to 36 yards. And then they give it to the fullback, and that's Lorenzo Neal, who's one of the best in the league at leading the way. Carries the ball very occasionally. First down. Talked about the triplets for San Diego. Breeze, third highest pass rating in the league. Tomlinson setting a single season record, 12 consecutive games with a rushing touchdown. And Gates coming out of nowhere. An NFL record for a tight end, 13 touchdown catches. From the 37 yard line. Tomlinson swinging to the outside. Nothing develops for him. And he's pushed out of bounds there by Donnie Abraham. And a flag is down. You know, that's the thing that, that, that this offensive line for the Chargers, Al, has done such Holding a great job. Offense number 70, 10 yard penalty, repeat first down. You know, you mentioned Hudson Hawk and the, uh, you know, the coaching this group. Five new starters and two of them are rookies. I tell you, you watch this group on film. I mean, there's just a penalty the first time you start to talk about it on, on one of the rookies. That's Shane Olivier. But the job that they've done of pass protecting for Drew Brees and of run blocking for Ladanian Tomlinson has been excellent. And it's not like they're heralded rookies. Olivier, a seventh round pick, and Hardwick, a third rounder. You know what happened to Olivier? He was going to be a higher 
pick and he, and, he, and he hurt his shoulder working out. I think it was a combine workout and lifting weights. Worked that well him. for San Diego. That's the end of the quarter. Jets nothing, Chargers nothing, and this wild card game continues after this message. And a word more ABC stations. Kevin Moss grabs a Snickers to satisfy his hunger. Packed with peanuts, Snickers handles hunger, and now Kevin is up for anything. Feeling rejuvenated, Kevin decides to help his friend Sully move. Sully accidentally drops a couch on Kevin's foot. He screams. A talent agent driving by likes his voice and signs him. Kevin becomes the fifth member of a boy band called Too Hot. He writes a song called I Want to Be Your Resident. An adoring public misinterprets the lyrics, and in an electoral sweep, Kevin Moss is elected president. Eat a Snickers and become president. Make it happen with Snickers. There's more than one victory lane. Don't like waiting in line? At Staples, we'll get you in and out fast so you can get on with your day. Staples, that was easy. New Year's shocker. What could make Damon say the words he's never said before? I was wrong. You were right. And we save it? Find out on my wife and kids. I thought I heard you say I was right. Yeah, I did say that. Well, 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 well. All new Tuesday, 8, 7 central, only on ABC. The average driver spends a mere 1% of the time in reverse. Yet considering what's at stake, that's 1% we didn't want to ignore. The backup camera, available in the Lexus RX 330. At your local Lexus dealer today. A look inside 2005's Best Rides, Sunday at 11. Back to San Diego on this Saturday night. Al Michaels, John Madden, and Michelle Tafoya. Starting in the second quarter, Herm Edwards, Marty Schottenheimer, left and right. And away we go in period number two with no score. It is first and 20 following the penalty that ended the first quarter. Drew Brees at the 27-yard line. Interesting here, the Jets are coming out on first down and using five defensive backs. And it's Tomlinson taking it. Drew Brees, a great story, and if you follow football, you know it. He's picked in the second round, 2001, out of Purdue. Ascends to the, the starting job, then loses it last year. And then they, of course, on draft day, draft Eli Manning. He says, don't bother drafting me, but they do, and they affect the trade with the Giants. And they wind up drafting the man on the right, Philip Rivers, and there was Doug Flutie that he's talking to. And it looked like Rivers would be maybe the guy who would start on opening day, but he signs late. Breeze took it as a tremendous challenge, and Rivers didn't get into a game this season until last week when they deactivated Breeze just to keep him healthy. Second and 14, he swings it out to the tight end, Justin Peel, who makes his second catch to the 43. So here's a franchise, John, that looks like it's in disarray. 4-12 and 12 last year. They don't know what kind of talent they have. They know there's Tomlinson, and there is A.J. Smith, the unheralded general manager, who worked under the late John Butler for a lot of years, and Smith went out and made some tremendous trades with guys who weren't big names, had a great draft, and he and Schottenheimer got on the same page, and here they are, 12-4. and four. You know, and you look at them both offensively and defensively, they're not as good as the New England Patriots, but the, the team makeup reminds me a little of the Patriots. You know, they have guys that they plug in here, they plug in there, use a lot of guys, role players. Tomlinson started to slip on a draw. Good call on third down here by Cam Cameron sending down the play. The offensive coordinator and Jonathan Vilma, the great rookie middle linebacker, makes the tackle for New York. I think that was Drew Brees's. I think he audibleizes on this play. In fact, you can see him change it there. Usually they count, and if they have if they have the count, if they have fewer guys in the box up front, they'll run the draw. If they have the box loaded or more players and you can block up front, then they audible to a pass. Flag would, thrown. I was just going to say, I would think that that play was Probably a passing Ball play. Start offense number 72, five-yard penalty, first down. 
saw that he had the advantage of the running play and then made an audible to go to the draw. Agreed. Sometimes it's that false audible call, but not in that particular case. Cameron sent out a good play anyway. They just didn't run it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he could have sent down two plays. Right. You know, I mean, that's that's the way the coach do it. They give Peyton Manning two or three plays, and he just picks the best of the three. First and 15. And here's Tomlinson to the 46. And let's check in with Michelle. Well, Al, you were talking about A.J. Smith, the GM of this team. Having spent most of the week here, I got a good chance to talk with him, as well as team president Dean Spanos. Now, neither one would confirm exactly what's going to happen with Drew Brees. He becomes an unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. But in all my conversations, it's hard to believe that they wouldn't franchise him for $9 million. They've got $21 million under the cap to use. $9 million would count against that. They'll see if he can repeat this year, next year, and then who knows, Al? Yeah, they're in very good shape. In terms of the salary cap, second down and 12. And again, Parker catches it, begins to slip, but maintains his footing and is very close to a first down at the New York 42-yard line. And the Chargers really haven't gotten started until now, but it starts off again. The couple times that they have thrown the ball, they have very good pass protection. And we talked about this offensive line and the blocking they do for, for Tomlinson, but look at the blocking for Drew Brees. He could step back there in that pocket, look, 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 find his guy, step up and throw it to him. Breeze, six for his first six for 57 yards. Ball at the 42-yard line. Fake draw and a roll. And then out in the flat, it's caught here by Justin Peel. Again, Peel made only 10 catches during the regular season. He already has three tonight, and that's Donnie Abraham making the tackle as they're paying a lot of attention to the other tight end, Gates, and that frees Peel up on a two tight end set. You see Finotti uh, 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 pull out there, the big 350-pound left guard. I think anytime you see, see this right... I saw him the other night in practice, and he's the biggest guy I've ever seen in my life. Look at him coming here. I mean, just look at that load coming. I, and, and here you have to get up. I mean, he just kind of tapped him, and your knees start to buckle. They list him at 6'4 and 350. Injury timeout. No score. Good news, men. Now we can sell our chimney caps directly to America. And we can get everything we need to make them from China. How are we going to do all that then? FedEx will help us with all the shipping, even the complicated customs forms. What's wrong? We don't have to give up our chimney sweep jobs, though. Why? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> 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 FedEx, helping take your small business to the world. I've been getting messages from the dead. Jonathan. This winter, the extraordinary real-life phenomenon is now the most disturbing movie in years. White Noise. Rated PG-13, now playing. Wow. How'd this happen? I told them if they shoveled, I'd let them use their new phones to talk to their friends as much as they want. They can do that anyway. We've got the Verizon Wireless Family Share Plan with the N. Yeah, well, they don't know that. Looks cold. That's freezing. I ain't going out there. Sign up for the Family Share Plan, and the whole family can make unlimited in calls to each other and any other Verizon Wireless customer from within the America's Choice coverage area. Plus, don't miss our great deals on camera phones starting at just $29.99. <laughs> Hurt myself. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Another moment. Go to Cialis.com and find out what the Cialis Promise Program can mean for you. It's an offer you won't want to miss. Are you ready? In two days, they'll be holding. Scoring. Illegal forward passes. All committed by 25 tight ends. Don't miss the two-hour season premiere of The Bachelorette. Monday at 9, 8 central, only on ABC. John Abraham this week was kind of listed as uh, the equivalent of maybe, but he's not playing. Knee sprain, played in 12 games to go to the Pro Bowl, and he presents an interesting dilemma in a way for the Jets and situation for himself. As after the injury to Peel, and he walked off the field on second and five, here's Tomlinson swinging to the outside, finds room around the corner, and Eric Coleman makes the tackle. With a guy like Abraham that can really use him, he's a Pro Bowl player, John, the question now becomes, he can be a free agent. He can get a lot of money. If he plays on a bad knee and he hurts himself, he costs himself millions of dollars. 
And that's what I hate about this. You know, the free agency brings us about. I mean, the the Jets need John Abraham. I mean, he's a dominant player and a dominant player in their defense now. But he's going to be a free agent. So does he risk, you know, playing and and making that injury worse and not getting much, that that whole thing? I just I just hate it. I I mean, it. It just takes away from the game, but it is the game. Peel. Back in the game, Tomlinson with a four-yard gain. And Michelle, you talked to Abraham. What did he have to say? Yeah, Al, it was right after he practiced on Wednesday. He said he legitimately felt good, and he didn't want to rush back. He had prepared himself to play, but he said exactly what you're talking about. He had to think about himself. He didn't want to worsen the knee and force himself into a longer-term injury that might require surgery in the offseason, a very important offseason for him. Once the dollars got to be as big as they are, not only does it affect players who are currently in the league, as Breeze is going to go for a six and open there and making the catch, but out of bounds was Keenan McCardell. The back judge comes over to be a conference here, and what he's basically saying is that he didn't have control of it with both feet in bounds. It looked like they were going to change it. It looked like they said no. Then it looked like they said yes. He has the ball. That second foot hits. He keeps control. He has to keep control all the way to the ground, which he does. This is a touchdown. One, two, control of the ball. Yeah. And the Chargers, they put it up on the board, and that's the reason you hear 70,000 people screaming. And the flag, the challenge flag from Schottenheimer comes out. There was a conference amongst the two officials, and they may not even have to challenge. The no, they will. The field that it was an incomplete pass. I said maybe they wouldn't challenge only because when one official came over with the other, he could have overruled him. Keenan McCardell, another of A.J. Smith's great pickups, was under contract to Tampa Bay, didn't report. They get him, and when we come back after the review, it'll probably be a touchdown. I always dreamed of being a Budweiser Clydesdale. Only problem is, I was born a donkey. All my life, I trained and trained. I even tried hair extensions. But at my big interview, they said, what makes you think you can be a Clydesdale, son? And what was my answer? I must have said something, right? What's this? It's my new Sirius satellite radio. Check it out. You can get the entire NFL on this. You mean every game, every week? Yeah. It's my new favorite receiver. Really? And big news from the Patriots. Tom Brady has a new favorite receiver. I thought I was his favorite receiver. Only Sirius Satellite Radio gives you the entire NFL with this exclusive NFL Sunday Drive. Get the NFL your way with Sirius Satellite Radio. I gotta get one for the cruiser. If a skateboard can have an active suspension, if a 60-foot fire engine can have rear-wheel steering, if a commercial airliner can check its own tire pressure, then why not your SUV? At GMC, our engineers don't just ask questions, they have answers. The GMC Yukon line of SUVs. Professional-grade engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. 11 NFL athletes living in one house. Backyard football has never looked so good. Or maybe it's just the apparel. Ed Hockley will come out and give us the call in a second. It was ruled a bobble. Clearly his feet are in bounds on this. Here comes Hockley. The receiver pulled the ball into his chest. And when he had it in his chest, in control, both feet were down. It's a touchdown. As we suggested, 26 yards and the touchdown. The back judge from his angle, and you can see him on the replay coming in, Scott Helverson. It's not a question of him calling it incomplete because of his feet. It's a question about does he have control of it. And from Helverson's angle, the back judge, and you'll see him come in from the bottom of the screen. It looks like McCardell is bobbling it, but he's not. But McCardell runs a perfect corner pattern. David Barrett was a corner. He was a short guy. He doesn't get up or bump. Eric Coleman is a free safety 26. He doesn't get over. So that's a zone, and they kind of hit the corner route between the corner and the safety. 
Cading for the extra point. So on a third down play, Breeze, who is eight for eight for 88 yards, makes it seven to nothing, San Diego. Sand painting is practiced by many cultures. Notice how they place the sand one grain at a time. They've been working on this piece for over eight days. I'm sorry, no pictures, please. Just look at the detail. Want to get away? Now you can. Go to Southwest.com for Southwest Airlines 39 to $149 internet specials to 59 destinations nationwide. Purchased by January 16th. You are now free to move about the country. yards on that drive and withstand two penalties against them as well. Take the lead. Kane to kick off here with 9.26 remaining in the half. 11-yard line. Jericho Cotchery. The rookie from North Carolina State up to the 32. First down there. Here's Michelle. Well, you're looking at uh, Terrence Keel, the Chargers' strong safety. He's riding a bike behind the bench here on the Chargers' sideline. Remember, he got injured in the first quarter, Al. He trotted off. They took him to the locker room for a while to look at that left knee. He just told me he's fine. Still doesn't know if he's going to make it back in, but he's certainly going to try, Al. And again, it's Clinton Hart who replaces him in the secondary. They're already minus Sammy Davis, who was deactivated. And now the Jets from the 32-yard line. The Jets have had two drives. They picked up 103 yards, and they keep nibbling. But there's no protein, no points on the board, like last week in the first half. Martin to the outside, taken down by Lieber. Chargers, despite being 31st in pass defense, and we can crunch those numbers for you later, they were third in run defense. Wade Phillips was brought in, formerly the head coach at Denver, then at Buffalo, interim head coach in Atlanta. Terrific defensive coordinator and really worked his magic this year, John. Well, you know, he's a guy that uh, has seen every situation. I mean, when you come out with an offense or a play or a down and distance, Wade Phillips has been there. He uses his three-man line. He knows it as well as anyone and can adjust it as well as anyone. Jets spread it out. That's Martin wide left and over the middle. A pass to Santana Moss, and he hauls it in and gets the ball across the 50 to the 48-yard line where Clinton Hart makes the tackle, a 19-yard gain. Did you see on that formation they had both Curtis Martin and Lamont Jordan in there, and this is the, the thing that uh, Herm Edwards is trying to do. He's trying to get more explosive players so that if he makes a play there, like, like Santana Moss there, if he catches a ball there, maybe someone can take one and break it for a big play. And now the Chargers have a problem because that's Clinton Hart who's replaced the injured Terrence Keel. So you got two safeties right now. And you know the other problem that that gives you with the two safeties is those are the guys that play nickel and dime for you. Injury timeout. New combo choices only at Wendy's. You can choose your own side at no extra cost. Their combo's done Dave's way. It's amazing. So choose Wendy's. <coughs> Here, honey, take some DayQuil. It'll help your cold symptoms so you'll have energy to go out with the boys. The boys. <laughs> the boys. DayQuil to help get back your energy. Cold medicine. Wednesday. How's this? Perfect. Two critically acclaimed shows. One unforgettable night. Ah! Hold on, Shane, I'm coming! Lost, an all-new episode of TV Guide's Show of the Year. Then, the best season yet. I'm not going anywhere. Four out of four stars. Got a problem. An all-new alias. Two great shows. Ah! One night, one network. Wednesday, starting at 8, 7 central, only on ABC. These are two of the original American Football League franchises. Founded in 1960, 
the New York Titans faced the Los Angeles Chargers, and here's how it all started. This was a preseason game at the L.A. Coliseum before 27,000. There was the Titans opening kickoff. That was Paul Lowe, and here is the way the AFL began for these two franchises. Lowe took it 105 yards for a touchdown. He held the team rushing record through the years. And look at that, a baseball infield. That's the L.A. Coliseum. The Dodgers were playing there at that point. Dodger Stadium was under construction. John, the team, you think about the Chargers, they were founded by Baron Hilton of the Hilton Hotel family. He was famed for being a hotel executive and one of the founders of the AFL. And now he is better known as Paris Hilton's paternal grandfather. That's where we've come in 45 years. Well, where were you during that play? I was at that game. That is amazing. That when it all started, you were there. Uh, unbelievable. And the Titans, owned by Harry Wismer at the time. And here they are 45 years later as... Clinton Hart is going to be assisted back to the locker room, but you've got the Jets and the Chargers, and this is the first time they have ever met in a postseason game. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Pennington, play fake, and they're going to test that secondary. So right off the bat, with the two safeties out, they send McCarrens deep. They have Rod, Rob Butler, a rookie from Robert Morris, at safety, and Drayton Florence, the corner with the double coverage. You know, and I was talking earlier how, you know, Clinton Hart comes out, and he was in for Terrence Keel, but he was also the dime back. So now they've lost two guys that play in their dime. So when they get in that third and long, you know, or even second along like like this situation here I think the Jets can have an advantage second down and 10 at the 49 yard line to the ground again this is Martin and he goes for a yard maybe two Jacques Césaire out of Southern Connecticut State makes the tackle and I don't know that that's the advantage that uh, that the Jets should be taking just run straight up the middle I think I think when those safeties are out, I think you have some passing advantages inside. Third and nine, halfway through the second quarter. Seventy thousand towel waving fans imploring their defense, and they get rewarded with a sack by Steve Foley. Steve Foley, one of those pickups in the offseason, had 10 sacks, and Sean Phillips, a rookie out of Purdue, bookend him. Yeah, we talk about a three-man line, and then when you get in third down, you take one of your line black backers and you make him a defensive end or a rush man, and that guy is Steve Foley. And he was a right defensive end coming from the right defensive side. Now on fourth down, Toby Doan, the Jets' fourth punter in four years, gets off a good one here, fielded at the 11-yard line by Eric Parker. And he brings it back up to the 24, and there's a penalty flag down way upfield at the 43-yard line of San Diego. You know, we have here either, either very good Charger third-down defense or very bad Jet third-down offense. Or some combination thereof. When the Jets would move the ball, then they get you know they, they they can't handle that third down. Of course, a lot of that is brought about by first and second down. I mean, they had second and long, and they just ran the ball right in there, and then they end up with third and long, and then Foley comes and Holding gets a sack. Receiving team number 95. It's a 10-yard penalty enforced from the end of the run. San Diego keeps the ball first down. That's Sean Phillips, who was in on the sack on the prior play. 6:36 to the half. San Diego 7 and the New York Jets nothing.
celebrate the end of late fees at Blockbuster. Now, if you need an extra day or two with your movies and games, take them. Enjoy. The end of late fees, the start of more. The new Blockbuster. Learn more about spiders at spdr.com. From San Diego, this wildcard playoff game being brought to you by GMC Trucks and SUVs. We are professional grade. Budweiser, grab a cold, fresh Budweiser. It's game time. By McDonald's and Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of Super Bowl 39, which will be played in Jacksonville. These two teams obviously hoping to get there, and they're among... 11 left started with 12 Seattle's gone St. Louis beat him 27 20 earlier today from the 14 yard line on first down Drew Brees under pressure and coming through the middle is Jonathan Vilma a guy we're just getting ready to talk about John the defensive rookie of the year in the NFL yeah and and he's a big play guy I mean he, he has that speed and the quickness and and, and you know that he can play the run from sideline to sideline. Here he comes on a blitz. He delays just a little to let that guard turn out, and then he just hits that gap. Damian Tomlinson, I was just going to say, was saying, he said he's so tough to read because he's good at slipping blocks. He look, he looks like he's blocked, then he slips it and comes off and makes a tackle on it. First round pick out of the University of Miami. Now Tomlinson gets most of that sack yardage back and we go to Michelle well I spent some time with Jonathan Vilma uh, here this week and or over the phone and even when he came into town I got to sit down with him. I'm impressed by this guy you guys he's just 22 years old feet solidly planted on the ground and he is all about football he said about 80 percent of his waking hours are spent on football at home watching film at the facility when I asked him about the award you just mentioned he said I don't have time it would be pointless to think about it it would only be a distraction he meant it Al well, he and Eric Coleman, two rookies, called the defensive signals for Donnie Henderson as his first year as the defensive coordinator. Third down and 12, and Drew Brees is going to air it out into good coverage. And the pass is well defended by David Barrett, intended for Parker, and it's three and out. And that is the first incomplete pass thrown by Brees tonight. You know, the other, the other linebacker down there at the University of Miami last year with Velma was, was D.J. Williams. You know, another number one draft choice, a linebacker, Denver Broncos. So you think of Miami's defense. They had some good linebackers, didn't they? Kind of the new Penn State. Mike Cypher is the punt. Santana Moss is back there. Good rush put on that time. And John McGraw then bangs into the punter, and it's fair caught up at the 48-yard line by Santana Moss. And there's a flag down back at the 19-yard line. So cypher has got whacked. And there's a Charger coach out in the field. I think I think that's that's a penalty and the coach is still out there. I mean the thing that he was yelling about is the is the punter was rough. So Marty Schottenheimer is out there. Take a look at this. If you get part of the ball. There it's was no all good. Contact with the punter. He went down on his own. Therefore there was no running into the kicker call. Unfortunately, conduct on the San Diego bench. The so there. That's what I thought. End of the play. First down. When I saw that flag come down, it was on. It was on Marty Schottenheimer for going out on the field because it wasn't thrown by the referee that was next to the punter, and Marty was a, about out to the numbers on the field there for a while. Now, if the ball is touched by a rush man on a punt. Then anything goes at that point. But what Hockley is saying is that there was no contact at all with the punter. Right, and there was no flag on that play. That flag, again, was on the coach being on the field. There's McGraw See, coming in, yeah. And he said that he didn't go down by any contact. He went down by himself. And if you're Schottenheimer and put yourself at his angle on the sideline there, that would look for all the world like running into the kicker. So he yeah. comes out onto the field. The penalty, the double whammy now, takes him to the 37-yard line, and so the Jets start at that spot. 
I mean, this is a great opportunity for the Jets. I mean, and they've had pretty good field position. And, you know, we talked how they moved the ball and they moved to running and passing, but they just can't put things together where they can get it in and score. That's, that's what the Jets need right here now. They need a drive that ends up with a score. And a score, I'm talking about a touchdown. From the 37 yard line, and now you've got action along the line and a full start. So the Jets begin this most opportune drive with a penalty. False start, offense number 67. Five yard penalty, first down. Kareem McKenzie. So the penalty called on Schottenheimer. You saw Marty's record in postseason, and that's been his albatross. A lot of success through the years, but he's never been to the Super Bowl. And when you get to the playoffs for 11 years and you have 11 losses, the math is simple. That means you never won the last game. Yeah, you know, and that's that's a big thing about the playoffs. I mean, 12 teams are in the playoffs. 11 of them will lose their last game, and that's when you remember the entire offseason. Martin on a draw to the 36. Schottenheimer. And he has had some unbelievably agonizing losses. He's been so close. The Elway drive, the Binder fumble. And there it is in the major North American pro sports. Highest regular season winning percentage without reaching the championship round. Dennis Green will be next. And then Don Nelson, 27 years in the NBA, but never to the finals. Don Coryell, a god here in San Diego, is on that list. Second down and nine from the 37. Pressure on Pennington. Wheels away from a sack and then throws the ball away. And if he's out of the pocket, he can throw it anywhere. That was Donnie Edwards with the near sack. I tell you, Edwards comes, and that's that's the thing. Pennington makes a good play just getting away from this because you're going to see Donnie Edwards. He's going to come from the far side right here. He comes as a free rusher. Pennington feels it just spins out of that play then as you say by getting out of the pocket he can throw the ball away legally Donnie Edwards should have had that sack Edwards played for Schottenheimer in Kansas City then comes home grew up in this area third down and nine three receivers to the left Pennington looks that way goes that way and hits McCarron's over the middle he gets free and he has a first down at the 14-yard line, Justin McCarrens. Yeah, it all started off with a good pass protection for Pennington. And McCarrens on that time ran that in that he had run earlier, but he ran a better pattern. I mean, he got a little more separation. You see the protection? Here, Chad Pennington can step up and make a perfect throw here. McCarrens comes now. He gets his separation and runs away from it. The last time, he started to get separation and didn't run away from the defender. Ran away from Drake and Florence, and it's a 21-yard gain and a first down of the 15. Under four to play in the half. Pennington sets up in the pocket and then throws part of the 13-yard line by Curtis Martin for a gain of a couple. Donnie Edwards. He, you know, Pennington reminds me, you know, there's, there's Brett Favre, who's a fastball pitcher, and Pennington throws a lot of you know, change-ups. Yeah, he does throw change-ups, and sometimes it looks like a knuckleball, but he said that, that that was one of the problems. He said he was trying to do too many things. He said he, he tried to make a couple throws in the last few weeks that Brett Favre couldn't make. Second down and eight at the 13-yard line. Pennington is 10 of 15, 103 yards, picking and poking, and occasionally going downfield. Swings it out to the outside here, and that's caught by Anthony Beck, who waltzes in to the end zone for a touchdown. 13 yards to the tight end. And I, I think Chad Pennington made an audible there, too. Did you see the, the whole defense was packed in there? So I think that was one of those things that could have been a run, and, th and there was a, no place at all. And then, and then he just comes back and he throws the ball out there to Anthony Beck. Watch Anthony Beck here. You see he's going to come in. And, and you see how tight they are in there? Anthony Beck was on the outside. He just runs a short out, and there's no defender out there. Doug Bryan with a point after. And, boy, that was close. Just good. Missed a 33-yard field goal earlier. So 37 yards after the penalty on Schottenheimer. Jets pay it off with a touchdown, and we're tied at 7-7 with 2.54 to the half. Wow.
How'd this happen? I told them if they shoveled. I let them use their new phones to talk to their friends as much as they want. They can do that anyway. We've got the Verizon Wireless family share plan with the N. Yeah, well, they don't know that. It looks cold. That's freezing. I ain't going out there. Sign up for the family share plan, and the whole family can make unlimited in calls to each other and any other Verizon Wireless customer from within the America's Choice coverage area. Plus, don't miss our great deals on camera phones starting at just $29.99. Myself. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Jessica into the end zone on the pass to Beck. Score tied 7 7. Tell you, that time he went to the hot receiver, the hot receiver is Anthony Beck. You're going to see him right here. When the blitz and the pressure comes, Beck just comes up and runs a short out here. You see the pressure? Here comes the blitz from that side. Beck is just going to come out here, look, and there's no one out there. He gets a little help on a pick. The defender falls down. He walks in. Beck had one touchdown during the regular season. To this point, the San Diego tight end, the Pro Bowl bound Gates, one of the big stories of the year, has been pretty quiet. One catch for three yards, and the other tight end has just tied the game. Yeah, you know, and I said earlier that I didn't like that hot receiver stuff because you throw short and they make the tackle. I like the hot receiver on that. <laughs> yeah. Tim Dwight, four-yard line. And Tim Dwight, former Falcon, up to the 28-yard line, and that's where Drew Brees and company go to work. Speaking of Drew Brees. 25 yards on the return. Hey, I'm going to be the best at whatever I set out to be. Uh, I'm a quarterback in the NFL. I want to be the best quarterback in the NFL. I want to win championships. So how am I going to do that? And, you know, you kind of sit down and you set a plan for myself, you know, for the off season, what I would do physically, what I would do, you know, mentally to prepare myself, um, setting goals, objectives, and then meeting those. And he comes up in the shotgun here and begins with a pass, not even close to being complete, Keenan McCardelli. I think was the intended receiver, but he was a good seven or eight yards away. There is Brittany right in the middle there. Drew's wife, and what a, what a ride for Breeze. He comes in, and, and remember the, the Charger quarterback situation. You go back, they had Jack Kemp and John Hadle and Dan Faust, of course, the great one. And then and it was a mess. The Ryan Leaf disaster. They traded away the what would have been the draft rights for Michael Vick. And they have Breeze and Rivers, but Breeze a fatter this year and throws here on second down, caught by McCardell will be third and one. Yeah, well, don't you feel that he's playing with a chip on his shoulder? Even that, even that sound bite there when you saw him talk and you could tell that he's still upset about that. You know that that thing when they when they said they needed a quarterback, they went out and got one in a draft. He said he was mad for a couple days. And then he said, you know, I'm a competitor. You know, that's what I do. I don't get mad and sulk and pout. I go out and work harder and do something about it. Third down and one as we approach the two minute warning. Tomlinson, little patience there, pays off, picks up the first down as we tick down to two minutes. Two minute warning, ball at the 40 yard line. Wild card game in San Diego, tied 7 7. It is a big, big night here in Times Square. Listen to that. with TiVo. Sign up now and get one for under $50. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV today. Successful investing. At T-Row Price, it's about more than just hitting home runs. It's about a consistent, steady approach year after year. Over 70% of our funds beat their 1, 5, and 10-year Lipper averages. Low-cost mutual funds from T-Row Price. Invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. One of the reasons we play so well on the road is because we have a team out. And then what happened? John Elway drove 98 yards. 
She definitely cares about what we eat. Ooh, Miss McNabb, Miss McNabb. Yeah, keep driving. Oh, come on. For away games, she loves giving us Campbell's chunky soup and microwavable bowls. She makes the road feel like home. Campbell's Chunky, it fills you up right. In two days, the Bachelorette premiere is here. Hi. Who will hit on her friends? Who will hit the bottle? And who will hit the floor? The two-hour season premiere, Monday at 9, 8 central, only on ABC. At the half from New York, Chris Berman, Steve Young, Michael Strahan, and Brian Billick. We'll be there on the Toyota Halftime Show. They'll tell you who the Pro Bowl starters will be. Also, tell you about the earlier game, the Rams advance. They'll go to Philadelphia or Atlanta. First NFL team to win a playoff game after finishing at 500 or worse. And for the Seahawks, it's another decade without a playoff win, making 20 years. Somewhere you think the Chargers on this drive are, have to, are going to have to start getting Antonio Gates involved. He's caught only one ball, and Breeze is going to pack it himself, and a flag comes in at the end of the play at the 45-yard line. We'll say this. If they, if they get a drive here, the, the closer to the goal line they get, the more Antonio Gates is going to get involved. I mean, he has 13 Holding touchdowns this year. Offense number 79, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. That's Mike Goff. He's one of the guys that Marty really liked. You know, we talk about a, a whole new offensive line, and you know, the two veterans they had. One is Robin Oban, the the left tackle. The other one is Mike Goff, right there. And he said that those guys are kind of the glue that brings this whole offensive line together. None of the five played. A single down as a San Diego Charger last year. Two rookies, a couple of guys in free agency. Finotti was on injured reserve. As Breeze throws, got good velocity on that and right into the arms of Eric Parker. But there's another flag down across the field, 50 yards away from the reception, laterally. Eric Parker, not the biggest of guys. He only weighs about 175 pounds and Marty Schottenheimer was talking yesterday about how tough he is that he wanted to institute to see who starts the old challenge system. He said, what do you mean challenge? He said, well, we'll wrestle. We'll wrestle for it. See who starts. And he said he probably would. He would, he would take on anyone in the team in wrestling. There was a time in, in college football where they had that. You know, that you would challenge the guy in front of you if you wanted to start. Defense number 46. The penalty is declined. Brings up second down. Correction, correction, 36, That's 36. David Barrett. That's completely away from the play. So they had a, a choice of accepting the penalty and making it first and 15, or declining it to make it second and one. So it's pretty obvious. Yeah, this this is a play caller's dream. Second and one. Any play that you call in this situation is usually a great call. Out of the shotgun. Breeze. And he finds over the middle Antonio Gates. And he knew, as John said, sooner or later, Gates was going to emerge. 15 yards and a first down at the Jet 37 in San Diego with all of its timeouts and choose to use their first one here. Chargers on the move. Late first half, 7-7. Hi, may I take your order? I'd like a classic single combo, but instead of fries, <gasps> I'd like a baked potato. <laughs> no problem. Introducing combo choices only from Wendy's. You can choose fries, chili, a baked potato, side or Caesar side salad at no extra cost. Dave Thomas always said people like a choice, so choose Wendy's. It's better here. Our pickup window is open till midnight or later. 142 to the half, game tied at seven after the San Diego timeout. Yeah, we talked about Antonio Gates, and that's his second pass to go up. The other guy, uh, uh, Tomlinson, has yet to catch a pass. First and ten, ball at the 37-yard line. 
And no sooner do you say it, and Tomlinson was late in looking back, stayed in and flared out. Eric Barton with the coverage there, and Tomlinson turning around a little bit late. You know, and one thing that Antonio Gates is going to have to learn is you, as you, you, you start to catch more passes, you start start to score touchdowns. You're going to be double covered. You see, they have a linebacker out there, and then they have a safety behind them. So he has to beat the linebacker at the line of scrimmage, and then get up the field and work on the safety. Second down and ten. Justin Peel, the tight end of the backfield, and now joined by. Tomlinson off the fake draw. Three sets up nicely. Throws into a lot of traffic and intercepted off the deflection by Reggie Tung. And Reggie Tung with some blocking brings it up to the 44 yard line. And Drew Brees, looking like a linebacker with all of that frustration pent up, bangs him to the grass. You know, that's why the old rule always is on an interception. The first guy you go after is a quarterback because he's going to be the most upset guy and he's going to be the guy that's going to go for the tackle like Drew Brees just did. Either that or he's going to go hide. That was thrown a little behind McCardell. And that was a tip. Reggie Tung comes up with it. Looks back and watch what Drew Brees does. He darn near gave him a helmet to helmet he, I, shot didn't he. I thought he did. He looks like John Lynch. Oh yeah. That could have been called. Tung gets the pick. Eric Coleman was the man who deflected it. Pass intended from the Cardell. The ball is at the 44. The Jets have all of their timeouts with a minute 26 to the half. And they begin on the ground with Martin who slides to the outside. Gets into Charger territory. Forced out by Jammer. And they're across the 50 with 119 to the half. You talk about a coach is upset. How about Marty Schottenheimer? He he in essence gave the Jets good field position, uh, you know, with his 15-yard penalty. Then the Jets went in and they go and they score. So now he's hoping let's get that seven back that I just helped give away. And lo and behold, he has an interception. Second and two. Chargers tough as you saw at the end of either half throughout the season. Pennington throwing off his back foot, and that one is. Is it picked off or incomplete? The umpire right there, and he's looking for help. So now there'll be a headlinesman umpire conference, and the interception is the call. Hockley comes in. Clinton Hart, for the moment anyway, pending any review, will come up with the interception. And again, it's inside two minutes. It's inside two, so this has to be initiated and judged from upstairs. Oh, that ball was on the ground, but you see that was again that was that hot receiver. Here comes the blitz. The free man is coming now. It, it looks like Chad Pennington. I was just going to say it looks like Chad Pennington felt a little more pressure than he really had. I mean, he went up and threw that a little quicker than he had to, and he kind of did a jump thing that he didn't have to do. But his ball hit the ground. The pass was incomplete. Please reset the clock to 118. One at the 48-yard line. There is Curtis in the game. Beck yeah. sets up a tight end on the right side. If they spread out, this could be a draw situation for the Jets. Martin, eight carries to 35 yards. Big play. That's what it is, and San Diego is equal to the task. John talking about the draw. Jamal... Parker is back to accept it. Gonna let it bounce. And the question is, yep, he saved it from going into the end zone. Jericho Cotri with his speed. And with all of their timeouts, the New York Jets have pinned San Diego inside the two-yard line. And they can else is academic because I don't know how the they could miss that. San Diego player number 89, who was the first to touch the ball, New had York been player. out of bounds. Which is a foul for illegal touching, and it would be a foul five yards from the previous spot. I'm going to check with the coach to determine whether that penalty will be accepted. Only cost us about a half an hour, <laughs> and away we go. And Marty Schottenheimer <laughs> did what he had to do. <laughs> now going to punt again, and they almost block it. And Parker makes a fair catch as he's going out of bounds. And they get it where they would have gotten it had he let it go anyway. No rush. 
and Brian would be allowed to kick what would be an uncontested field goal. And Tomlinson goes down, and the Jets will take or should take. And I don't know now. Ed Hockley's call to say it was actually called before the clock operator stopped the clock. And now Tomlinson to the 11-yard line, and again, a timeout. The Chargers in that case would have to be 10 yards away. We need a restraining order here. And there's Tomlinson who may make it move, and it appears he does. He's going to get the first down, and so much for the free kick or anything else. That's the way the half will end in San Diego at the end of the first half. And you got the boys back in New York with the Pro Bowl starters. Recap of this one, highlights of Seattle and St. Louis, and we're tied 7-7. Seven to seven. So stay tuned after the tear of the halftime show. After this from the NFL and a word from our ABC station. I think maybe in the second half they'll go back to just being who they are and we're about running and we're about Curtis Martin and that's what we're going to do to you and see if you can stop. It. Now Marty Schottenheimer in the San Diego locker room and his staff, what, what were they talking about at the half? Well, you know, the strength of their team was was Drew Brees in the year that he had. Ladanian Tomlinson has to be a bigger part, both as a runner and a pass receiver. And they have to get a little closer and better field position. And then Antonio Gates has to be a big part of this. I mean, those are kind of, you know, we talk about the triplets, the three guys that helped get him here. And when you get into this, the finality of it, the guys that got you there are the guys that are going to have to do it for you now. Gates only got two passes for 18. San Diego will get the ball. It's a fairly short kick that's muffed and then picked up by Tim Dwight and San Diego fortunate to retain possession after Jesse Chapman couldn't hold on. Michelle. Yeah, I talked to uh, Marty Schottenheimer at halftime about getting penalized for being on the field when he thought his punter got roughed up. He stands by it. He says not only did it look like my punter got roughed, Mike Cyphers, the player, told me he did. He completely showed no remorse, guys. Also for Herm Edwards, he said, we really took the crowd out of this. we got to keep it that way with a big defensive stop right out of the gate and scoring some points early. John Al? Right now, they'll line up defensively against Drew Brees, who was 11 of 15 for 128. And they start with a reverse as Tomlinson hands the ball to Parker coming around from the other side. And a lot of action, but not much yardage. One yard, Sean Ellis making the tackle. San Diego's triplets, here are their numbers. Breeze, as we say, with 11 completions and 128. Tomlinson, uh, relatively quiet, 56 yards. He's on a 112-yard pace, but you know, just kind of a pedestrian 56. And McCardell with the one touchdown grab. And I think Tomlinson has to have, have more touches. I mean, he's, he's, he's the big part of the offense. He's the star of this offense. And he needs to touch the ball more. Second and ten, and Breeze throws through Antonio Gates. Gates kicks at Vilma. There's a flag, but it's back at the 21 and has nothing to do with the end of the play. Hockey is true, very busy. He had nine penalties between the two teams in the first half in playoff football in recent years they've been averaging about 11 penalties a game total yeah I think historically that's always been true in fact I was talking that's Olivier with the penalty I was talking to Hockley about that before the game and you know he was wondering is it is it the fact that the teams are the better teams or is it the referees Put the flags away. Probably a little bit of a combination. I think it's a combination of both. I mean, I mean, the players do play at a higher level. Uh, they're in it. The game means so much. You don't get sloppy play. And then, on the other hand, I still believe that officials want the game to be in the hands of players. They don't want to officiate a win or a loss. And you get the better officials in postseason as well as the better teams. Second down and 20. From the 16 after the penalty on the right tackle. Three man line, three man rush. Three steps up underneath. It's Tomlinson. Ladanian up to the 24 yard line. And Ladanian Tomlinson, who they throw to a lot, that's his first catch of the night. You know, you know, and here's what they did to Antonio Gates. You see in the first half that 
They're very tight on him. You know, you know, there's there's John McGraw on him on any nickel situation. They're bringing John McGraw in. Otherwise, they're going to have a linebacker on him and a safety over the top. But I think he has enough talent to beat those things. I think the Chargers have to start moving him around a little more. Put him in the slot here on third down and 13. Breeze looks that way, then comes this way and winds up hitting Tomlinson. Out in the flat, and Ladanian gets up to the 32, but well short of the first down. So after not going to Tomlinson at all, they go to him back to back. Yeah, and then here they were trying to go to Antonio Gates before he comes off to Tomlinson. And you see here, Gates doesn't have have great speed. I mean, he doesn't have great quickness. He's just a big guy who can use basketball moves. And to me, he's better the closer you get to the goal line. Out in the middle of the field like that, he doesn't look like anything special. Chargers a stuttering start to the second half. Mike Cipher is the punt. A little low on the snap, but he gets it away. High kick, fair catch called for made by Moss at the 25-yard line. Two minutes into the third period in San Diego in this AFC wildcard game. 7-7, the Jets and the Chargers. Southwest Airlines flights to more places than ever before. America is your backyard. You are now free to move about the country. Cold hard facts. As the Super Bowl approaches, millions of bottles of refreshing frost brewed Coors Light will be tackled. Fans will get in touch with their inner linebacker. Grown men will dance. Games will be won. Voices will be lost. And tons of lucky hot dogs will be washed down by Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. The coldest tasting beer in the world. And the official beer sponsor of Super Bowl 39. I need a car. No. A convertible. A red one. With under 15,000 miles. Autotrader.com. With 2 million new or used cars, you can find the one you really want. And with millions of shoppers, you can sell the one you already have. It's the ultimate automotive classified site. Autotrader.com. Your car is waiting. The survivors of Flight 815 are all running from something. And this Wednesday, there's no escape. At all new Lost, Wednesday at 8, 7 central, followed by an all new alias only on ABC. Nick Hardwick, great rookie season. The center anchoring that line, but there's the shoe off, and they work on his ankle on the San Diego sideline. It was just Dwayne Robertson just gave him a big push, pushed him so hard his ankle just collapsed. Now from the 25 on first down, Pennington throws into traffic and threads it right into the arms of Justin McCarrens for an 11-yard gain and a New York first down. Now you watch Chad Pennington, and the, the minute you start to think, well. That shoulder's bothering him. He he really can't do it. He comes back, boom, just puts, puts one in there. And then you think, well, you know, he's playing through the pain. We, we, we know that he's not okay, and he's playing through the pain, and then he'll throw a bad one. Hitting 67%, which is what he normally does, about two-thirds of his passes. Martin runs into his own man and then turns nothing into a little something up to the 40-yard line for a gain of about four. Yeah, do you see why he ran into his own man? Because Jamal Williams, the big nose tackle, stuffed his own man. And that's, you know, we always talk about this three-man line, control the nose tackle. Watch what this nose tackle does. I mean, you get a big guy like that, he just takes Kevin Mawai and he puts him right back in the backfield, right into Curtis Martin. Second down and six from the 40-yard line. A toss play. Nice nifty running there by Martin. Finally taken down by Edwards. It'll be third and about three. Yeah, Curtis Martin had to had to do that then because Jamal Williams again gets penetration, but, but he's going to get in here. But Curtis Martin, he feels it and, and he's able to run around it. You see the penetration there? Curtis Martin there knew it, and he just beat Jamal Williams in the backfield. But 
felt Jamal Williams did his job. Third down, short three. This will be a pass this time. Short drop, and the pass to McCarrens is caught. Again, he was draped by Drayton Florence, and Pennington got it right there, and McCarrens makes the catch, and McCarrens has been Tim Pennington's go-to guy tonight at six catches. And McCarrens does a good job by getting inside of Florence and getting the position. You see, you got to get it right now. You see, when he gets inside there, he has a completion. And the thing is, Florence on the other side has to take away that inside and not let McCarrens get in there. First down in San Diego territory at the 47-yard line. Fake draw. And Pennington going for six. Deep down the field, and it's caught by Santana Moss for a touchdown. Quentin Jammer and Jerry Wilson were both there, and the pass is perfectly thrown. Moss makes the grab. 47 yards, and for the first time in the game, the Jets have the lead. You know, I think the play-action pass even got Quentin Jammer a little. You're going to see him. He's looking in, and you see the play-action. He looks back at the play-action, lets Santana Moss get up upon him. Now, Santana Moss had that speed, and he's one of those guys. When he's even, he's leaving, and he <laughs> throws the ball when he's even, and Santana Moss just runs right by two of them. Third catch. For Moss, Doug Bryan for the extra point. And so the Jets holding San Diego offensively, three and out for the Chargers, and then the Jets get the ball and go 75 yards in two and a half minutes. Touchdown to Moss, and the Jets lead the Chargers by seven. Cold hard fact. The higher the elevation, the lower the temperature. That's why every single Coors Light is born right here in the Rockies. And when beer starts out this cold, it ends up this refreshing. Coors Light. Our goal, the coldest tasting beer in the world. A shift has been made. And better stories will be told. A shift has been made. Hardcore just got harder. Core. A shift has been made. And taking eight camping is only a problem for the tent. A shift has been made. The concrete jungle is finally tamed. A shift has been made. When you think adventure, on road or off, think Nissan. Cold hard fact. Only Coors Light is frost brewed at ice cold temperatures. Stored cold and shipped cold. And when beer starts out this cold, it ends up this refreshing. Coors Light, our goal, the coldest tasting beer in the world. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Five plays, 75 yards, and just what Michelle talked about, talking to Herm, saying we stop him defensively, come back, get a big play, and it's 14-7. How about good play calling by uh, Paul Hackett on that drive? That's right. If you're gonna if you're gonna take the criticism when, when when things don't work, you have to get the credit when they do. Much maligned, an overused term as the kick is run back by Dwight doesn't come close to describing how they've been treating Hackett lately. Take a look at this. Some of the Jets people I talked to about this before the game were stunned. At or behind the line, by the length of pass, you can see where Pennington is eighth. On the short passes, he finished fourth. Now, where you would think he would be great. 11 to 20 yards. Look at that. He's last in the league. And then Long, where everybody says he has no more arm strength and all of that stuff, he finished first in the league. In other words, if you're throwing, if you're throwing to a target 21 or more yards beyond the line of scrimmage, and a lot of that was granted early in the season, but among the regular quarterbacks, he did wind up on top on those deep passes this season in pass rating. Which shows when, when he's healthy and right, he can do it. And you could have won a lot of bets because I talked to some of the Jets about that before the game, and they were they were shocked. 
Tomlinson makes that catch, but the defense is right there. And here it is. I mean, an example of what he was doing a lot of, especially earlier in the season. I'll tell you, he made he made a perfect throw here. I mean, Santana Moss has about two steps there on Quentin Jammer, the corner who was covering him, and the safety who was getting over, and Pennington put it where the only guy that was going to catch it was Moss for the touchdown. That little swing pass lost six yards. Hardwick was in for that play, and there he is bent over and out right now, and Bob Hallen is the center. Second and 16, and Bree swings it to the outside. And that's caught by Keenan McCardell for a short gain. It'll be 12 yards to go on third down as we look at how Hardwick got hurt the first time. Well, we talked about it. You'll see Dwayne Robertson is number 63. And you see him pushing and pushing. Now, watch that left ankle. You see that left ankle just kind of collapses on him, right? Here, see it goes in the ground right there. See it? And that's what happens when you get a strong guy like Dwayne Robertson just gets underneath your shoulder pad and is just pushing. Something has to give. And there he is, red faced and all on the sideline in some pain. Was in for a play and now out. Allen, the ex Falcon, is the man in the middle. And Breeze throws, and that's caught. Now the question is does forward progress as Eric Parker? Does he have the first down? He caught the ball, and they're going to put it right on the yellow line, which is a nice break for San Diego, and Hockey Lee will call for the chain gang. But he caught the pass, then started back, tackled by Reggie Tongue, but appears to have enough for the first down. You're going to see right here, and he has to again get up to the yellow line. They have a zone defense. He just runs, just figures where, where that is. He has a first down. I mean, he starts, as he starts to go away, he starts to come back a little. But he did when he makes the catch he has a first down and then he comes back and then he was hit I, I would say that's going to be very very close. In fact it's not a first down. Mm. Well the yellow line is just a television tool it has nothing to do with official it's fourth down a couple of inches. Of course every crowd wants you to go for it on any fourth down at any point and this field position this is tough I mean you you know as a as a coach I know it looks like he's going to do it or try and draw him off sides a play here would be a quarterback sneak or just try and draw the Jets off side big 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 gamble here and they got the Jets to jump off. off he got him Dwayne Robertson he got him to jump off side yeah, and, and that's discipline. To me, that's that's the thing. You can't have that on defense. I mean, you have to know that's what they're doing. Number 63, five-yard penalty results in a first down. The number one pick last year, and the guys really had a very good season. And they always talk about about discipline, and you know, and what is it? To me, this is what it is. You know, that when you get in these types of situations. You're going to get a hard count. You know it's going to, everyone has to remind each other, and you can't let that happen. <laughs> Did he make up for yeah. it? Yeah. So Donnie Anderson was telling us how much he loves this guy. So he had a small annulment, and now they're back living together after that last block. Yeah, and Robertson, we saw how strong he was against Nick Hardwig, and then we saw when he jumped off sides, and then that yeah I mean you have pride and you know that everyone sees this and everyone thinks oh how dumb can that be so then you better come back and make a big big play on the next one and that's a big play that's a three yard loss they had a play like that every day mm. check them out here on second and 13 it figures to be a passing situation big throw to control Robertson into the outside the pass is caught and then stepping out of bounds is Parker at the 44 yard line about two yards short of a first down and again that two yards that goes back to that Robertson play on 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 first down if he if he doesn't throw Tomlinson in for a loss that pass would have been a first down pass third down it's a short three from the 43 yard line he tried to get him on a hard count and didn't get him on the hard count and went to an audible. Breeze comes to the near side and in traffic it's incomplete intended for Antonio Gates and now the Chargers have to bring in the special teams. 
That was good defense by the Jets. Was, you know, Drew Brees saw something, made it an audible, was going to throw to the left, and then it was covered. What he thought was going to be there wasn't there at all. You're going to see Eric Barton is number 50, and he's on Gates. And that's that's where he came second. He was looking to throw to someone outside to the left first. Mike Cypher is the punt. Short floater. And it takes a New York bounce. And it's down at the 33-yard line. 654 left in the third quarter after the 24-yard punt. The Jets leading by a touchdown. A shift has been made. And the full-size truck party finally got interesting. A shift has been made. And the mid-size truck feels a whole lot bigger. A shift has been made. And when you think tough, powerful, innovative trucks, think Nissan. In Good Company is without a doubt the year's surprise hit comedy. What a kung fu grip you got there, Dan. Newsweek raves in a holiday movie season up to its neck in darkness. This nimble comedy is a welcome respite in Good Company. Rated PG-13. In theaters Friday. Don't miss another moment. Go to Cialis.com and find out what the Cialis Promise Program can mean for you. It's an offer you won't want to miss. Are you ready Sunday, a widow and her family watch their dreams go up in smoke. Roseanne and her daughter were basically homeless. Now our team is off to a remote destination for their most extreme mission yet. An all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Then on Monday, discover how they made it all happen. We're going to show you everything. How we really got it all done. Don't stop. You've seen it before. You've seen the after. Now see everything in between. Sunday, an all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Then Monday, it's the premiere of How'd They Do That? Only on ABC. Chad Pennington accounting for both the touchdowns. Again, no interceptions. The Jets' trademark under Herman Edwards, few turnovers. They committed only 16 this year, one per game, and very few penalties. So they were best in the league in not giving the ball away and second in the league in fewest penalties. So Herman in his four years has preached that discipline, much like Schottenheimer has for years, and Herman coached on the morning, and it's paid off. From the 34 now. The New York Jets, first and ten. A little tight little roll. Pass out in the flat. Caught there by Chris Baker. Donnie Edwards takes him down from behind after a gain of about four. Fewest per game in a season. The Giants who would go on to win the Super Bowl under Parcells. 14. Dallas in 98-15. And then Tom uh, Jacksonville after Coughlin left in 2002 in Kansas City with 15. And there are the Jets up on that chart. And normally that translates to a pretty good year. A real good year. Flag thrown. Curtis Martin to the 40-yard line. And a lot of that has to do when you have a back like Curtis Martin who doesn't fumble. Although with Jamal Williams in there, they're kind of getting all they can handle. You know, you say, well, where's... Curtis Martin today why isn't Curtis Martin running well most of Curtis Martin's runs are inside and this San Diego Charger defense is Holy very difficult defense, to run inside number 76 on. five yard penalty enforced from the end of the run and an automatic first down and that is Williams and penalties have really hurt the Chargers this season that's eight tonight for 70 yards they got Jamal Williams right here for holding now now, now, what you do is when you get a double team, you, you you try and hold one of the guys that are getting off. He, there was no one getting off. I don't know. I don't know what the heck they they called there. I didn't see any holding. Usually, usually it's a double team, or you take it on one block as a nose tackle, and you try and hold the guard for coming off and getting up in the linebacker. Williams didn't do that. Automatic first ball at the 46 yard line. And he can flush that. Coming to his left. And gets taken down at the 48-yard line by Ben Lieber, spinning him around. And there's a flag back at the 35-yard line. 
And that pressure, you know, we were talking about Williams and what he's doing. Oh, the pressure came from him. Number 65, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat first down. That's Brandon Moore, number 65, and he's blocking Williams. You're going to see, again, him getting the penetration. You see, he starts, he goes by Mawai, and then he gets on Moore, and, and, and he gets on that outside shoulder, and he grabs it, and he made Pennington get the heck out of there. Jamal Williams is having a heck of a game. I mean, you say, you know, again, I go back to why Curtis Martin isn't running. I think this is a big thing. And then he is causing a little havoc in the passing game also. Again, one of those guys, because he doesn't appear on national television that much, who is a bit of an unknown, but a great player. First and 20 from the 36-yard line. Pennington over the middle. That's caught by Martin, and Martin takes it up to the 46-yard line. Just about the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, second and, and ten. And the Jets in pass protection there figure we've had enough of this Jamal Williams guy. Let's double him. So they're going to take the left guard Pete Kendall and have Jim just wait there. And they get Mawai takes one shoulder. Pete Kendall takes the other shoulder. And that gives Pennington the time he needs. Second and ten under five minutes to play in the third quarter. Jets a one touchdown underdog up by seven. Pennington a little soft throw. Martin has some blocking and exploits it. And gets taken down from behind at the 30-yard line by the linebacker Steve Foley. Yeah, we always talk about patience and a running back has to have patience. He has to have patience on a screen play, too. And watch Curtis Martin on this play. He's going to come back here, a screen. You have patience here. You let your line get out in front of you. You hold, hold, hold. Let him, let him set their blocks. Then you come in and get in behind him. Three blockers out in front and a very, very good cutback by Curtis Martin. Experience, patience, the cutback. After the guys had scraped them off up front. Martin close to 100 yards from scrimmage tonight. I think they probably figured that out, you know, that we've been there pounding no them in there. there were only 11, only 11 men in the huddle. No timeout is charged. It's first down. And if they've been trying to get Kevin Martin, uh, I, mean, I mean, they've been trying to get Curtis Martin inside. Nothing had been going there, so they figured, well, let's get him to the outside, and that's one way to get a Curtis Martin to the outside is on a screen pass. Martin out and Lamont Jordan is in. Jordan's carried twice tonight for 17 yards. One of those explosive players that Herm Edwards was talking about last night that he wants to get the ball in his hands. Santana Moss and Lamont Jordan. Jordan can break one. Martin on the other hand. Longest carry this year for Curtis. 25 yards. There was Moss who scored a touchdown. He's on the sideline for this play. And they give it to Jordan, and he goes to the outside and then cuts it back and takes the ball to the 28-yard line, and there's another penalty. Holding offense number 67, 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Kareem McKenzie. Another thing about Martin and ending his 10th year, look at that. Through the course of... Recent history, lowest career fumble rate. Martin, one per 140 times. Rodney Hampton, the former Giant, secured the ball very well during his career. And Warwick Dunn, now with the Falcons, would be third on that list. Martin this year fumbled twice, but the Jets didn't lose either. Jordan's still in the game on first and 20. Lamont Jordan through the middle. And Jordan picking up a nice little chunk there to the 33 yard line. Jets bench a couple of plays ago with Bishop Harris, the running back coach, and Herman Edwards. Well. Yeah, I know one of the things that they're having a problem with is. The problem restraining Herm Edwards is what they're having a problem with. They won't be writing about that in the papers in New York tomorrow, will they? Second and 13 at the 34-yard line. 
But you know what the whole thing is about is when you have Curtis Martin, you know, who led the league in rushing, and then you have Lamont Jordan, who, who Herm Edwards would like to see in the game. So yeah. if you put Lamont Jordan in, basically you have to take Curtis Martin out. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's what this whole deal is about. After the game of the Jets win, first question. Herman, what was that on the sideline? Third and 11. We were just trying to win the game. <laughs> That's right, you play to win the game. Third and 11 from the 32-yard line. Pennington. Caught. McCarron's looking for the first down, but no. Coming up was Quentin Jammer to stop him. And it sets up a field goal attempt, which would make it a 10-point game. Yeah, and I think you said the right thing, that he was looking for a first down instead of going out and getting one. I mean, at some point when you get that close, you have to, you have to run like a fullback. You have, to make your, you have to make the cut back, you have to put your shoulder down, and you have to try and ramp it for that first down. Brian missed from 33, barely made an extra point. This is a 42-yarder. So he's been a little off his game tonight. And just hits the upright and it goes over. So he caroms it over. Bang, bang. That was a double doink. Double, it was right. doink, doink, over. Good. Doink. Redux. 17-7. <laughs> Hey. Where you been? Well, we needed a break from the city, so we hop in our new Nissan Pathfinder. We drive to a small town in here. Hey, you got Kells Holmes here? So we go even farther and find a dude ranch. See horses, see cowboys, see guys saying the best pizzas at Lombardi's. We head off-road to go hiking in New Mexico. New Yorkers, mud bass at the hot springs. Hey, I'm in your building. We drive farther and farther down a canyon across a river to the most peaceful, secluded, far away from the city place, and we realize we missed you guys. Hey. The new seven-passenger, 270-horsepower Nissan Pathfinder. Cold Hard Facts. As the Super Bowl approaches, millions of bottles of refreshing frost-brewed Coors Light will be tackled. Fans will get in touch with their inner linebacker. Grown men will dance. Games will be won. Voices will be lost. And tons of lucky hot dogs will be washed down by Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. The coldest tasting beer in the world. And the official beer sponsor of Super Bowl 39. Thank you. Much more the same the next couple of days. Much more the same over the next couple of days. Okay, here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. Stay cool. Call me when you get there. I will. Tired of waiting for your reward? With thank you from City, you get great rewards that are easy to earn, easy to redeem. That's a card you can count on. This wild card game being brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL official airline of Super Bowl 39. Nissan, everything we touch, we shift, and everything we shift, we try to make better. The coldest tasting beer in the world, Coors Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL, and autotrader.com, sell your car fast on the ultimate automotive classified site. Aerial coverage tonight brought to you by Budweiser, looking down upon... Qualcomm Stadium, formerly Jack Murphy Stadium, built in the late 60s and named San Diego Stadium. Longtime home of the Padres and now played downtown. And of course, the Chargers as Tim, Tim Dwight runs this kickoff back to the 29 yard line. So the Chargers have built themselves a hole. They've dug it. They have 16 minutes and 18 seconds remaining in regulation. And Hockley now, as you've got a little activity. Post tackle, resulting in no flag. Breeze and company will go to work with 118 left in the third quarter. And the double doink by Brian, making it 17 7. Only Red Lobster makes jumbo shrimp the way you crave it big, oh, yeah. tender, sweet, crunchy, oh, yeah. decadent. Right now, choose your favorite, Jumbo Crunch Fried, Sweet Jumbo Coconut, or Jumbo Scampi, each with warm Cheddar Bay biscuits and fresh salad for just $11.99, only at Red Lobster. 
Yeah, having a little car trouble. I'm State Farm Agent Larry Bitterman, and this is a true story. I was there on vacation, so I called the local State Farm agent. We're not really sure how the car got into the lake. Yeah, the map was a disappointment. They called a local diver, and it turns out that's me too. I think he started my claim before he even dried off. And we settled it the next day. Where would I have been without him? Sunk. Any insurance company can promise you a good price, but nobody takes care of you like State Farm. We'd love to prove it to you. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sand painting is practiced by many cultures. Notice how they place the sand, one grain at a time. They've been working on this piece for over eight days. I'm sorry, no pictures, please. Just look at the detail. <coughs> Want to get away? Now you can. Go to Southwest.com for Southwest Airlines' $39 to $149 internet specials to 59 destinations nationwide. Purchased by January 16th. You are now free to move about the country. Wednesday, millions are finding out why Alias gets four stars. Cool and sleek. This is Edge of the Seat Flat Out Bug. And the best season yet. I'm not going anywhere. An all new Alias, Wednesday, 9, 8 Central, only on ABC. ESPN tomorrow starts today with a countdown, ends it with prime time. As two playoff teams take place tomorrow, one in Indianapolis, the other in Green Bay. And here we are in San Diego with the Chargers with 118 left in the third, down by 10. LaDainian Tomlinson gain of a couple. And what's the story, Michelle, on Nick Hardwick? Well, Nick Hardwick is in the locker room having his right knee attended to now, Al. Remember, he injured his left ankle early in the uh, first quarter, got taped up, went right back into the game smiling, felt great. On the very first play in, hurt the right knee. Now he's questionable for the rain remainder of the night, still in the locker room getting evaluated, Al. And thus, Bob Hallen Michelle is the guy who will be snapping it to Breeze, second down and nine. Final minute, third period. Breeze to the outside, that's caught, and then a nice move by Parker to try to pick up the first down. Head linesman comes in to spot it at the 39-yard line, appears to be a little short, and there is Hardwick, but with a noticeable limp, obviously, coming back out onto the field, or at least onto the sideline. Yeah, it was interesting. The, the Jets on first down use nickel, so the, the Chargers went to run, and that's usually what you try and do. If someone wants to play five defensive backs and take out a linebacker on you on first down, you usually try and run them out of it. They tried to run the ball, and it didn't work, so then they had to come back and pass on second down, and they were successful. End of the period in San Diego. End of three. The New York Jets 17. The San Diego Chargers 7. And Wild Card Saturday continues after this message from our ABC stations. Forty years in the making. The biggest event in sports will be bigger and better than ever. Super Bowl XL, coming February 2006 to ABC Sports, Championship Television. You need classifieds. So you can get rid of what you can't live with anymore. And make room for what you can't live without. Classifieds in the Tampa Tribune. Find what you need in your life. When do you realize you're going to be part of the great American race? Is it when you buy your ticket or when you feel Daytona come alive? Is it waiting for the green flag to wave or the drama of the last lap? Whenever that is, you will forever be a part of NASCAR's most prestigious event. I'm a Daytona 500 champion. I can't believe it. The Daytona 500. Sunday, February 20th, 2005. Daytona. Realize the experience. It's big, it's here, and it's better than ever. Toyotathon 05. This big year-end event has been extended. It's your last chance for great values on your favorite Toyotas. Now, through January 10th, get $2,000 cash back on the 05 Tundra Double Cab. Toyota's biggest truck ever. That Breeze and the Chargers as we start the period, and now Sneak will net a first down at the 40-yard line for San Diego. Yeah, the Chargers had kind of been an explosive offense at home. Unanswered points for Curtis Martin, Chad Pennington, and the New York Jets. Big third down and inches coming up for 
Breeze and the Chargers as we start the period and a sneak will net a first down at the 40 yard line for San Diego. Yeah, the Chargers had kind of been an explosive offense at home this year and you you kind of feel like they've been sparring the whole game you know that they've you know been riding that stationary bike or something you know going nowhere haven't been able to put anything together and you just kind of wait well okay the sparring's done now when do you start the fight I, I, I don't feel like the Chargers have started the fight yet we well, can take a look at that all time in the history of this franchise 10 or more point deficits have been overcome in four of their seven postseason wins, and they're in that position right now to pull off another one. And as John says, we'll see if they start going downfield, and they will here as Breeze goes deep and too deep, intended for Antonio Gates. Tell you one thing: the Jets, the Jets have done a good job of shutting down Antonio Gates. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't been open at all. I mean, you you know, you you would think that. You know, it's not all linebacker, it's not all secondary, it's not all nickel, but he's just running into a zone defense, and wherever he goes, they seem to get on him pretty tightly when the ball gets there. He's only had two catches tonight for 18 yards. And that is Donnie Henderson, the first-year defensive coordinator. He used to be on Brian Bullock's staff in Baltimore. He's really done a very good job. Second and ten, Breeze. And that's caught by Parker, and Parker is able to pick up the first down. It's a good tackle by Barton to save another six or seven by Parker. First down. Yeah, the Jets move Sean Ellis around right and left. Here you see Sean Ellis now on the on the right side, and he tries to just do a a a, a bull move right on Robin Oban. Oban just drops his hips and takes it on. That's what you always have to do. You know, if some guy tries to bull rush you, you have to drop your hips and you have to get down. If you stand up, he'll take you right to the quarterback. Sean Ellis is on the sideline. It's first and ten from the 46. Breeze to the outside, and that is caught by Eric Parker. That's a nice catch by Parker, who has really emerged this season. Covered there by David Barrett, and Parker tonight's been the go-to guy for Breeze. That's eight catches for him. Eric Parker comes back a little and that's what you always want to do as a receiver. He runs the out squares it and then comes back and Drew Brees makes a nice throw. He throws it down and away. He brings him back and then throws it down where there's no way that Barrett can get to it. 12 50 left first and 10 from the 34. Brees buys time. Pump fake. Everybody covers swings it to Tomlinson. Tomlinson close to a first down. Derek Strait finally stops him and they'll put it right at the marker at the 24 yard line. Yeah, he was trying to throw the ball over to the right side. He had pretty good protection and he has to come back to Tomlinson late. You see he comes on a bootleg but there's good coverage. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to get the ball deep out there to Eric Parker. Then he had to come off the bootleg back to the other side and he found Ladanian Tomlinson. Second and inches now from the 24 yard line. Reset the formation. Does he take advantage of the down and distance? Pretty much a free play on second and short. Instead they play it conservatively. Get the first down here as Tomlinson gets to the 23 yard line. Yeah, we were talking about Antonio Gates and how he has to be a bigger part of this offense. And, and I've said the closer they get to the goal line, I think the bigger he becomes. And and now they're getting into an area where where he can be a very very effective weapon. Double tight end set now at the 23 yard line. Gates on the left side. Peel also in the game. Parker in motion. The fake to Tomlinson. Breeze going for six. Too high. Intended for Parker. You know, sometimes on those passes when you're throwing them into the end zone, you're not sure if the quarterback just throws the ball high or if he's throwing it away. That time, you know, Drew Breeze put everything he had on that one. And I think he saw a double coverage there where he was trying to go and just put a little extra on it, put it a little high to throw it away. Because his alternative, if he were going to throw it there, would have been to force it. 
Second down, 10. You know, the Jets only have 10 players. On that last play. Breeze throws, and that's incomplete. They have 10 on that play, too? Yeah, yeah. They had a 4-2-4. They it's not good. No, no. And San, San Diego couldn't exploit either situation. Now, on two plays there, the Jets have only had, look, they have one, two, three, four, one, two linebackers, one, two, three, four, ten. And, and on two two consecutive plays, as far as we can tell. Yeah, they did the same thing to play before. Right, because they didn't, I didn't see anybody come off or on the field between plays, third and ten. The old 4 2 4. The old 4 2 4 got him <laughs> twice in a row. Holy moly, what's going on down there? Now, now they have 11. We've counted them up. Little shovel pass. Tomlinson, but he gets tripped up. 16 yard line. Not the worst thing in the world because you're down by, by 10 points. You're going to need a 7 and a 3 or a 3 and a 7. And they'll go for three right here. Yeah, and that's what Marty Schottenheimer had to be thinking. That we just have to get a drive going here, and we have to end up with a score, whether that score be the three or the seven. A little pressure now on Nate Kading, third-round draft choice. As I said before, pretty high for a kicker out of Iowa. Although when the other team only has ten guys in there for two plays, you mm. kind of wish you would have taken advantage of it. Squandered opportunity, 35-yard attempt, and that one is just good. Both kickers tonight flirting with danger. 10.43 left in regulation. The New York Jets 17 and the San Diego Chargers 10. You left Rusty alone in your apartment? It's okay. I, I got him one of those shot collars. Oh, that's so cruel. No. No, no, no. It's part of his training. Can I get you a Bud Light? My roommate's got some in the fridge. Thanks, Rusty. Cool. Fresh, smooth, real Bud Light. So what's up? You want to hang in or you want to go? It's all here. Between form and function just became razor thin. The Motorola Razor, only from the new Singular. The new Singular, raising the bar. Oh, you don't have to do oh, that. No, no, so. no, Mr. Hugenacher, I insist. Take that back for you there, Mr. Hugenacher. Oh, no, I can manage. Are you sure? Hello, Mr. Hugenacher. Come back and see us real soon. It's a pleasure having you, Mr. Hugenacher. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bogey, my man, your car is ready. Hope you had a good time. Mr. Hugenacher. More style, more class. The redesigned Camry SE. Now that's moving you forward. It's almost as if you can see the future. Your steps aren't planned, but somehow every one of them makes perfect sense. So you keep moving. The playoffs are where moments are made. What's next? San Diego down by seven with 1043 to go. The rookie Kading to kick off. Taken at the two yard line by the other rookie, Kachari. And he gets taken down at the 29-yard line. Pennington, who's 7 for 7 this half, will take over there. 10.38 remaining in regulation. 17-10, Jets. It's wonderful. It's incredible. It's... It's... It's something only Wendy's could do. It's amazing. Introducing combo choices. Oh. Thanks. Choose fries, chili, baked potato, side, or Caesar side salad at no extra cost. Dave Thomas knew his customers liked the choice. A combo with a side salad. <gasps> so choose Wendy's. It's better here. Our pickup window is open till midnight or later. Invention is greater than convention. Moving forward is greater than sitting still. Simple is greater than complex. Greater power. Greater technology, greater beauty. The all-new Audi 
A6. It's greater to lead than follow. If your four-hour cough medicine wears off, things can get ugly. Next time, get all-night NyQuil cough. The sleep through the night cough medicine from the makers of NyQuil. Coming to DVD. Can you be perfect? Move fast. That's what I'm talking about! Play hard. Oh. Score big. Your expectations could be any higher. One of the greatest sports movies ever made. Yeah. That's the way they play ball. <laughs> Friday Night Lights. On the DVD January 18th. We're with Don Everest, known in the poker world as the Matador. If we're gonna hurt him in a cash game, you gotta get out of the kiddie pool and start making moves. Tilt. Premieres Thursday, 9 p.m. on ESPN. Close to 70,000 in San Diego. Chargers in postseason play for the first time in nine years. Up on their feet. Looking at their defense right now as the Jets have it. At the 28-yard line, Pennington 7 of 7 in the half for 113 yards. Now you're talking. This is playoff football here. Absolutely, as Martin goes to the outside. Can't get around the corner. Ben Lieber makes the tackle after a gain of a couple. You know, these fans were so fired up. And I was watching television last night. And there were people here in the parking lot. They were here at 8.30 in the morning. The game didn't start until 5. They were tailgating. I mean, they were ready, and they wanted something to really to shout, to, you know, to, to really come on. I think it had to wait now to the fourth quarter. They get a field goal. Now they want their defense to step up and play big. Dream season, and they want it extended. Winner of this game goes to either Foxborough or Pittsburgh next week. Second and six. Swung to the outside. Caught by Jordan. Gang tackled. Up at the 33-yard line. You know, I always felt that the deeper you go into a playoff game, the higher the intensity. You know, you come into the game and everyone's kind of fired up in the first quarter, the second quarter, the third. You get into the fourth quarter, and now you're really dealing with finality. You're in that loser's locker room. You're on vacation tonight. That's it. Over. Your next game's a preseason game. August. Third and five. Crowd on its feet. Pennington, good protection, throws, and the catch is made. A flag is down at the 39-yard line. Jonathan Carter makes the grab, tackled by Jamar Fletcher. Jamar Fletcher is the is the nickelback, so the Chargers were in five defensive backs. Herm Edwards already figuring the penalty is against the Chargers. The play has a and that's a Holding first down. Defense number Doesn't 25. Matter. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Takes the ball a yard farther than the run. First down. We're just talking about Jamar Fletcher. He's the he's the nickelback. You can see him right there. Watch that left hand. That's that, that's the it. They got him. Decline. That's the better result. It was going to be a first down regardless, and Edwards takes the play because it netted six yards instead of the penalty, which would have given them five. First down in either event. Look at Chad Pennington there. Don't you feel that, that he really has control of the huddle? Very he much gets so. gets down there and his knee looks up at every player as he calls the play. Perfect pass. A little over nine minutes to go. From the 40. Look at that protection again to the outside. Getting open is Jordan. And that's a first down at the San Diego 47. And he's back there in an easy chair, Pennington is. Yeah, he is. And, and, and that was really his third read. If you look at the at the protection and the time that he has, he looks to the left, he pumps, and then he was trying to go deep to the left side, came back to the middle, and then finally to the right sideline. He had an up on one side, a post in the middle, and he threw it to the out, his third read. That offensive line doing a great job for the Jets. First and ten. At the 47. Martin. 
Stop him at the 46-yard line. So the, the two star running backs, I mean, okay nights, nothing uh, spectacular. Martin 51 yards, Tomlinson 56, but they have really not been the headliners tonight. Well, I think both of these defenses came in here to stop the running game. You know, they said the first thing we have to do is we have to stop Tomlinson. We have to stop Curtis Martin. So they kind of took that away, and in doing so, they opened up some other things and forced them to go to more passing. And Pennington, 21 out of 27, empty backfield here on second down and nine. A little pressure, away he goes, and he slides to a stop at the 40-yard line. And it's getting just about to the point right now where this is not only a pretty critical drive, especially for San Diego to stop him, but a, a big, big play here. Otherwise, the Jets can take a couple of more minutes off the clock. Right, and you're going to see on that last play again is Jamal Williams getting the pressure right up the middle, and he got right in Chad Pennington's passing lane. See, Chad Pennington's trying to throw that slant in there, but he would have had to throw it through Jamal Williams. Chargers trying to keep it a one-score game. This is a big play for San Diego's defense. Third down and three. Pennington swings it to the outside, and it's off the hands of Curtis Martin. So the Chargers get a stop that they very much needed. Well, you can look at those fans, and they knew that, too. And what you were saying, they were all reacting to it. I mean, this, this whole crowd was all standing up, and they were just everything for that defense. Well, you, you get to this point, you, you know, all you can do if you're a fan here, you look up, and that clock keeps going down, 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 down. And that's what I said, the finality of it. There's no, well, we'll get them next week, or we'll get them in the next game, or we'll, we'll win our next three games. You lose, you go home. Dolan's punt, high floating kick, and the Jets with a flag down will have an opportunity to down at the eight-yard line, but there's another penalty. It came after the ball was kicked by Goen. Hockley and his crew have been very busy, especially for a postseason game tonight. And we were talking about, you know, you get into playoffs and you don't see as many penalties called. Uh, we're breaking the rule here tonight. San Diego may have had an extra guy on the field. 12 men. It was fourth down and 13. Make, I'm sorry, fourth and three. And if that is 12 men on the field on the defense, five yard penalty results in a first down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, and these are two coaches that really pride themselves in, you know, doing the right thing, not having stupid penalties, not doing stupid things. We see the Jets play defense twice with only 10 guys. <laughs> we see coaches fight. We see a coach get out on the field. We see you finally stop them, and then you have 12 guys in the field. Amazing that the Jets get away with twice they got away with 10 guys on the field as as John just mentioned and then a 12th man for San Diego is a killer. It gives the Jets a first down it moves them five yards closer it gets them pretty close to field goal range and gives them the opportunity to make it a two possession game. Right and we're just talking about six minutes 47 seconds left. At the 35-yard line, first down. Martin. Now it becomes even more critical for the Chargers for the defensive stop here. You know, when you talk about Curtis Martin and 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 not fumbling and and leading the league and all these things, this is when he really comes into play. This kind of surprises me that they take him out now. I mean, I would think that that this is when you give the game to a Curtis Martin. A no doubt Hall of Fame guy in the future. They bring Jordan in. Second down and six. Pennington looks the clock and a flag before the snap. Before the ball was snapped, ball start offense, number 88. Five yard penalty, it's still second down. Anthony Beck. For teams that don't get penalized much and, you know, again, don't do some things that just shoot themselves in the foot, both of these guys have been doing that. 
Game started out fairly penalty free. One benefit, it's an interesting, you know, nuance in the rule. Pennington was milking the clock. Then you have the penalty. The down remains the same. You add five more yards, but you still get a fresh clock, albeit a 25 second clock instead of 40. So you can milk it some more. Yeah, but you still want to get back in field goal range. Second down and 12. Martin is back in the game, and Martin gets bounced down at the 35 yard line by Randall Godfrey. Well, he really did get bounced down by Randall Godfrey. Godfrey's another guy. You know, you know, Donnie Edwards has kind of been the superstar linebacker of this team, but Randall Godfrey's been playing pretty well, too. He, he likes to play up closer to the line of scrimmage. Donnie Edwards likes to play back and use his speed more. Third. That's what kind of kept him out of the game. Five minutes to go. Very critical third and eight. At the 34-yard line. Pennington throws, and it's dropped. McCarrens, who was covered by Florence. So a big stop for San Diego. And now for Herman Edwards. Do you bring in Brian, who hasn't been kicking well tonight, who missed a 33-yarder, who double-doinked the field goal, who just made an extra point? Do you try to make it a 10-point game? The downside to this, of course, is if he misses it, San Diego winds up with the ball at about its own 42-yard line. So you're looking at a 52-yard field goal, if indeed this is going to be a field goal attempt and not a fake, to try to make it a two-possession game. This is a very interesting call, and now the Jets take a timeout. I mean, to me, in these conditions, with your kicker not on his game, to risk a 42-yard yard line start for San Diego, pretty dubious. Timeout. Well, I had a dream. I stood beneath an orange sky. The multifunctional element. Yes, I had a dream. I from Honda. Stood beneath an orange sky. Where will it take you? Erica, isn't it your dad coming? Hey, Daddy. Where are you supposed to be, young lady? At Tasha's house. And you're not there. Well, I was, but I had. When you tell me that you're going to be someplace, you'll be there. Dad, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. No, I'm loving you. All right, now say goodbye to your friends, baby girl. We're going. Love is setting rules and making sure your child follows those rules to help keep them away from marijuana. Come to Lowe's, where it's easy to get organized. At Lowe's, you'll see how to turn every nook and cranny into a place to store things. Because only Lowe's carries closet-made completions, an innovative storage system that you can customize to fit your every need. Lowe's also has more brand-name storage solutions than anyone else in the country. And Lowe's has low prices every day, guaranteed. That's our promise. Lowe's, improving home improvement. Get a $35 gift card free when you spend $300 or more on closet-made shelf track or completions. Monday in two days, America's favorite bachelorette begins her search for love in the Big Apple. And the two-hour premiere will shock you. <gasps> the Bachelorette premieres this Monday at 9, 8 central, only on ABC. As we surmise, the Jets thought better of it. Brian will not attempt the field goal. They bring Dolan in to punt. You can see what Doug has done over the last five years. He's made one 50-yard field goal in the last five years. And, of course, Schottenheimer got burned with the 12 men on the field, making sure he has 11. And now the punt is a high-floating kick that the Jets can't down at the two-yard line. That was Jonathan Carter waiting to try to make the catch and down it, but he couldn't. So Breeze and the gang come out at the 20-yard line with 4.46 remaining. Pressure. Pressure. Hi, Jared here. You know, a McDonald's Big Mac has 560 calories. On the other hand, a tasty six-inch turkey sub at a Subway restaurant has 280 calories. That's exactly half the calories. And half the calories, well... That's how I became half the Jared. For delicious subs made right before your eyes with fresh ingredients on fresh baked bread, it's Subway restaurants. Subway, eat fresh. Don't miss another 
moment. Go to Cialis.com and find out what the Cialis Promise Program can mean for you. It's an offer you won't want to miss. Are you ready? Come celebrate the end of late fees at Blockbuster. Now, if you need an extra day or two with your movies and games, take them. Enjoy. The end of late fees, the start of more. The new Blockbuster. Start the new year. Of all people, you pick that tired piece of Evie. With new housewives. You have the hots for our Annie. And new dirt. Martha's missing. They found a body. And all new Desperate Housewives. Sunday night, 8 central only on ABC. In the AFC, still much to be determined. Colts and the Broncos tomorrow. Chargers, Jets, of course, tonight. The Broncos are the 60s, so if they win, they face the Patriots. And then the winner of this game would go to the Steelers. But Colts and Broncos, if the Broncos win, they would go to Pittsburgh. Since Pittsburgh's number one, it would be six against one. And then the winner of this game would go to New England since the Patriots are second. So tonight, the winner still won't know where it's going next week, but it's no, it knows it's going to Pennsylvania or Massachusetts. And you wonder what you're doing if you're Pittsburgh and New England. Who are you getting ready for? <laughs> First things first, 446 left, first and 10, Chargers starting the drive from the 20. Breeze under pressure, gets enveloped, and gets sacked at the 14-yard line and might have lost the ball. Jason Ferguson, he did. The ball came loose, but he recovers himself, and it's second and 16. This is, a, you know, we talk about the offensive line, and you talk about pass rush and those things. This, this is when you need it, in this situation right here. Drew Brees is trying to step up. He didn't have anyone open on his first read, and by the time he stepped up, the whole pocket, instead of being there for him, all collapsed on him. Three-man line. Now they show a little blitz and back off. Second and 16, and Brees deep over the middle, and that is caught at the 34 by Antonio Gates. So Gates makes his biggest play of the night, tackled by Reggie Tongue in a first down, 19-yard game. Well, you know, we knew that the, the Jets were going to play nickel in these situations. They played number 38, John McGraw, on him. You see, McGraw just goes out in a zone. He plays on him, but doesn't take a man. He plays out in a zone, and they just hit Antonio Gates in the seam of that zone. Chargers have all of their timeouts plus the two-minute warning. The Jets have only two because when they send Brian out and then called the timeout, that cost them one of their three from the 35 on first down. And that's deflected, and Tomlinson can't get there. Tomlinson looked like he might have lost it in the lights, tried to get his bearings, and couldn't get underneath it. Second down and 10. Hit Mike Goff, his own lineman. Goff, 79, in the back of the head here. Yeah, it does. Here's Goff here, Rotch in. He's just pass protected here. And, and as, as Drew Brees goes to step up, that's, that's just throwing that ball too low, isn't it? So he's looking for a lane. He, he had a lane there, but you have to throw it over your offensive lineman's head. Second down and 10 from the 35. Breeze caught. Gates again. First down in the Jet territory. Being chased. Dragged down to the 23 by Coleman. the guys that got him here and this is what happens when you have a 260 pound tight end you know he's going to make a move he's going to catch a ball now this is a tough part you 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 can't just wrap him you better get three or four guys on him if you're going to get Antonio Gates down in the open field arm tackles and just hands are not going to get this guy down Matched up with McGraw, 44-yard gain, first and 10, 240 left in regulation. And Breeze has taken a timeout. So the Chargers will spend one. They have two plus the two-minute warning, so that's really not an issue right now. And I go back to, we talked about the Charger postseason history and the four games they've won. They've overcome deficits of 10 or more and trying to do that again here. NFC playoff picture. While we have a moment here with the San Diego timeout. St. Louis won today. They were the five seed, Vikes and Packers tomorrow. If the Packers win, then they go to the Falcons. 
Rams would go to the Eagles. If the Vikings win, the Vikings go to the Eagles. It would be six against one. Rams would go to the Falcons. Well, congratulations to the Rams in taking the next step. Who yeah. would have thought? Yeah. After I mean, last week, I mean, they always lose to the Jets, which would have put New Orleans in the playoffs. Right, and, and the, the Rams are one of those teams that the minute you think they're a great team, they'll play lousy, and the minute you think they're lousy, they'll play great. Marty Schottenheimer was talking about Antonio Gates yesterday, and he says he has a great catching radius. And I think this is the area now where you use guys that have a great catching radius. Never played college football. He was a fine basketball player at Kent State. Breeze swings it to the outside, and then Tomlinson juggles, but by juggling and still making the catch, it cost him any opportunity for a decent gain and an inside move on Donnie Abraham. I was talking to Lindanian Tomlinson the other day, and we were talking about why he didn't catch as many balls this year. You know, and like I said, he caught 100 last year, and he just smiled and said, Antonio Gates. And he says, I'm really glad, too. I mean, that's some <laughs> running backs, you know, will catch a lot of footballs, but they would much rather just run with the ball and let tight ends and receivers catch most of the ball. Gates NFL record in the second year 13 touchdown catches for a tight end second down and 10 and they run a draw Tomlinson runs into the official still gets the first down takes it to the nine yard line first and goal. Don't you just feel that the Chargers got to this point says we have to ride the guys that got us here. You go to Antonio Gates for a big play and then you need a run and you give it to LaDainian Tomlinson. Look at the moves that he has. He just lets them go and then, then the only guy that he couldn't beat is that umpire. He runs right into him. He's always looking at the next level. When he's at the line he's looking at the linebackers. When he's at the linebackers he's looking at the secondary. And no place in there does he look at the umpire. Two minute warning first and goal what a finish coming up in San Diego. Wow how'd this happen. I told them if they shuffled I let them use their new phones to talk to their friends as much as they want. They can do that anyway we've got the Verizon wireless family share plan with the N. Yeah well they don't know that. Looks cold. That's freezing. I ain't going out there. Sign up for the family share plan and the whole family can make unlimited in calls to each other and any other Verizon wireless customer from within the America's Choice coverage area. Plus, don't miss our great deals on camera phones starting at just $29.99. <laughs> myself. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. And now with the rich, bold flavor, Dr. Pepper. One taste, and you get it. I don't want you here. Because you still desire me. Wear something more appropriate. Pretend you're a lawyer. You're fired. My, my, my. What are you going to do, sweetheart? Sue me? An all-new Boston Legal this Sunday, 10, 9 Central, only on ABC. In the mist and fog and clouds. We're set up for a fantastic finish. 17-10. Pennington tonight has thrown for two touchdowns. Santana Moss grabbing that one. Breeze, one touchdown, one pick, and he's got his team to a first and goal situation. There was the catch by McCardell. Herm Edwards and Bishop Harris going at it on the sideline before. Earlier, Schottenheimer got penalized for going out into the field. The game's had a little bit of everything, and right now, with two minutes to go, it's first down and goal for San Diego. The Chargers were the best team in the league in the red zone this season and converting for touchdowns. 70% of the time, they got it into the end zone. From the nine, Tomlinson, uh-uh. Yard and a half, maybe two to the seven. Robertson is there for the stop. You have to think somewhere in this series here that they're going to go to Antonio Gates. I was watching him practice the other day and they have the thing where they'll they'll split him out and then just try and you know, you know, throw that thing up to him just like a basketball play and if it's not this down I would expect it on the next down. Clearly in a four down situation here time not a factor they have two timeouts second and goal.
Brees stepping up. He's going to run. Drew Brees takes it to the one-yard line. Stopped there by Coleman. Third down and goal. Hey, he was trying to throw it to Antonio Gates out there. They split Antonio Gates out like a wide receiver, and they were going to throw him that jump ball. But he couldn't get it out there, so he had to run with it. Here's Gates right here. This is what they were trying to do. See, just throw that fade, throw it to the second pylon. That was either a bad pattern by Gates or good defense. Drew Brees saw that and knew, I better get the heck out of here. And Coleman saves the touchdown. He's looking right there. He's trying to throw the jump ball. It's not there, so he has to do this. He's a tough little guy, this Drew Brees. He is. I think both these quarterbacks playing today are tough guys. San Diego with one timeout. And look at that. The Jets, only four plays this season when the opponent was at the one, and they didn't let him in once. For San Diego, the perfect ending to this drive would have been to score and take as much time off the clock as they could, but they had to call a timeout. This is too critical a call here. But if they score, they'll leave the Jets some time, and the Jets have two timeouts remaining. But first things first, third down and goal. This is where I think you just hand it, hand it to LaDainian Tomlinson. You know, let that big offensive line do the work. And for the Jets, of course, Dwayne Robertson Ferguson, they have to be the big run stoppers inside. Lorenzo Neal is the blocking back, and he's great. And they give it to Tomlinson. And Tomlinson will not get in, and that's going to set up the whole ball game here for the San Diego Chargers, or at least to send it, what they hope, into an overtime period. Fourth down and goal. And there was no place at all for Tomlinson to run in there. We were talking about, about these two tackles that have to play, Robertson and Ferguson. Watch, watch right here how low they get and how they play right here. And, and, and just that whole line, they just take everything and, and they, they get penetration and, and, and they don't give the Chargers anything. See, there's no place for Tomlinson to run. Everything is forced to the inside, and it all started with, 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 with the penetration of Robertson. Now, San Diego's going to take a timeout. The Jets did them a little bit of a favor here because San Diego was able to take all that time off the clock. They know they have only one play. After this, it doesn't matter. It's a touchdown or the Jets get it back. Now, the Jets could have taken a timeout knowing what San Diego was doing in that situation, and now the Jets have left themselves very little, so if San Diego scores, it's almost certain to go to overtime instead of the Jets having an opportunity to get into field goal range. Right, and I think that third down play running to Tomlinson was, was the play, and I think now when you get to fourth down, I think it has to be some kind of option, some kind of play-action pass bootleg where Drew Bees uh, fakes a run, hopes that the goal line defense of the Jets will bite on it, and then he can get out on the perimeter and either throw it or run it. I think this becomes a passing situation. Isn't this, if you went into the playbook, you'd, you'd find your best two-point conversion play right here. Right, and that's that's what you have to run, and I think, you know, it's probably going to include, again, Antonio Gates, who didn't do a very good job at that time they did call the play for him, or Tomlinson. Will the Jets move on, or will the game move on? It comes down to this. Fourth and goal. Tomlinson goes in motion. Breeze looking, looking, under pressure. Throws up a prayer. Knocked down by the Jets, and there's a flag down. There is a flag down at the 21-yard line. For the moment, the Jets have held, but it's all about the penalty now. And the Chargers are indicating it's against the Jets. I think it was against Eric Barton. I think he hit Drew Brees in the head after he threw the ball. Wow. 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 And, not and not only that, it gives the Chargers an opportunity to maybe run two plays now, or even three. Watch Eric Barton right there. Oh, see, the left hand was probably okay, but watch when he pulls that right. The left hand, okay. But that right hand to the head, they're going to call that every time. I mean, you want to be emotional. You want to be passionate. There's only one way to play the game. But in these situations, you got to play it smart. 
And now for the Chargers, as Hockley signals timeout Jets, they take a timeout. For San Diego, that was that was the bonanza. You get a first and goal, and with a couple of incomplete passes, you still have an opportunity for two or three plays. Meanwhile, these wild card playoffs today being brought to you by Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper, one taste, and you get it. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Lowe's, where you'll find all your home improvement needs. Lowe's, improving home improvement. And Subway, what to eat when you want to eat fresh. Subway, eat fresh. Aerial coverage tonight provided by Budweiser. What a game. Now here's Eric Barton one more time. Again, you're going after him. The ball's out of there. I mean, you know, there's nothing you can do. You're not going to get a sack. It was fourth down. All you have to do at that point, really, is just leave him alone. And now, you know, the Chargers still have to score here. Absolutely. Because they got that penalty. That didn't give him any points. Nope, didn't give him any points. But you're almost compelled, I think, to pass the ball here only because you'll have the opportunity for a couple of passes. If you run it, that clock is going to go down in a big hurry. Right, because the Chargers have no timeout, so they, they really have to pass the ball to get more plays. First and goal from the one. And they're going to throw it. And Breeze is going to throw in the end zone for a touchdown to Gates. the drive Gates caught three he accounted for 66 of the 80 and the rookie Kading comes in for what is always an automatic extra point but this one is anything but automatic hey, I think Antonio Gates made a basketball move there on Eric Coleman didn't play college football college basketball player And Kading bangs it through with 11 seconds to play. And so San Diego, which took the early 7-0 lead, the Jets scored 17 unanswered points. Now the Chargers scored 10 straight and were 11 seconds from overtime. Watch Antonio Gates here. You'll see Eric Coleman on. And you see that move? That's that basketball move I was talking about where he kind of starts inside with his left shoulder. Coleman goes to the inside, and Gates just goes back to the outside. Then you get that big 260-pound body out there to throw to. That's pretty good. Watch a little move there, that little shake move, and then he is wide open. And penalties have been gigantic tonight. They're roughing the passer. Outside of that, the game is over and the Jets win. You had the Schottenheimer penalty earlier, which put the Jets in a good position to cash in. And then this one. And that's going to be a 30-hour plane ride home for Barton if the Jets lose this game. You know, he's thinking, like I said, it was fourth down. The ball was out of Breeze's hands. The game was over. Whew. Take your shirts off and go, man. One of the ways you go to a game, you go and you just wear a shirt during regulation and take it off during overtime. <laughs> Shirts off, everyone. A little easier in San Diego than in Green Bay. I mean, it's 60 degrees, guys. Now the kickoff. Does Kading kick it conventionally or roll it down there? It's a conventional kick. Contrary ran one back last week, 94 yards. And there's such adrenaline for Kading that he bangs it into the end zone. So at the 20, the Jets get it. Chargers last drive. They started, remember, at the 20. The Jets couldn't down the ball at the two. And Gates was the big man. That 44-yard pass and run. Tomlinson able to run into the umpire but get a first and goal. Breeze takes it down to the one and a half. The huge penalty. The Gates catch. 80 yards they go in 435 to tie it. The Chargers on the their their last two series, it, it, it kind of felt like the Chargers more what you kind of expected out of this team. You know, like I said earlier, it was like they were sparring the first part of it, and then the last part of it, they started to fight. 
Jets will take it to overtime. Crowd waving its towels. And the next big call in this game is heads or tails. Right, and this is a true overtime. You know, this isn't one of those, this is a true sudden death where you just keep going until someone wins. It's not just a 15-minute period. Last year in the playoffs, and remember there are 11 postseason games counting the Super Bowl in the NFL under the current playoff format. Three games went to OT. Said sudden death. The visitor, the Jets here calling the coin toss. 15 minute period. This was like a new game was starting. It's not like overtime in the regular season where it's a maximum of 15 minutes. The coaches don't have a challenge here. Everything is initiated upstairs. So it's played like the beginning of a game. In fact, if you play two scoreless periods, you would go to a third. We'd have everything at halftime except the bands. Right, and it would be a shorter halftime. I think it's just a three-minute halftime. We will now begin a sudden death overtime period. The first team to score wins. We will begin a new ball game. Timing rules from the first quarter. Each team will have three timeouts per half. All replay stoppages will come from the booth. They will not come from the sideline coaches. It's your call. What, we, what is your call? Heads. Heads is the call. Heads is the call. Heads is the call. Is the call. It is tails. It is tails. So San Diego gets the ball and they'll work against a jet defense that was out on the field for that 80 yard drive. Overtime when we come back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The game is on the line. The pressure's on. Here's the situation you've got two children, college tuition is in sight. Retirement is breathing down your neck. Who do you go to in the clutch? Over 50 million customers rely on us when their money is on the line. Insurance, loans, retirement. AIG. We know money. You need classifieds. So you can get rid of what you can't live with anymore. And make room for what you can't live without. Classifieds in the Tampa Tribune. Find what you need in your life. When do you realize you're going to be part of the great American race? Is it when you buy your ticket or when you feel Daytona come alive? Is it waiting for the green flag to wave or the drama of the last lap? Whenever that is, you will forever be a part of NASCAR's most prestigious event. I'm Daytona 500 champion. I can't believe it. The Daytona 500, Sunday, February 20th, 2005. Daytona. Realize the experience. It's big, it's here, and it's better than ever. Toyota Fawn 05. This big year-end event has been extended. It's your last chance for great values on your favorite Toyotas. Now, through January 10th, get $2,000 cash back on the 05 Tundra Double Cab. Toyota's biggest truck ever. That's $2,000 cash back. Or check out the all-new, bigger, better, more powerful Tacoma. The Motor Trend 2005 Truck of the Year. Toyota Fawn 05. And soon, get the best values. Now that's moving you forward. ABC Action News, taking action for you. In San Diego, Al Michaels, John Madden, Michelle Tafoya, the fifth period begins. Drew Brees ready to get under center. Pennington can only wait and hope he gets the ball. He's of the Chargers score, it's over. If you're a Jet fan, I don't have to remind you. In 86, Mark Gastineau, 10 point lead in Cleveland, hits Bernie Kozar. Jets lose. Schottenheimer's on the other sideline. 18 years later, here we are again. And those are the kind you, you never, ever live down. Mm -hmm. A win will help you, but you never live it down. Goins kick, fielded by Tim Dwight at the 7, the speedy one. Out past the 20 to the 26-yard line. The Chargers start there, and a little pushing and shoving afterwards. Chargers have scored on their last two possessions. Field goal, touchdown, 
have the ball again and there are Breeze's numbers tonight that quarterback rating into triple figures after that last drive. You know that's about the same rating that he's had all season. I think his his rating for the season was 104. But those last couple of drives they looked like the explosive chargers and the Drew Brees chargers uh, that we've kind of seen all year. And I think the point that you made out just before overtime was the fact that this jet defense is the same group that's been out there and they have to come back and start playing again. Chargers have been on the field a long time and Breeze will start with a little screen pass to Tomlinson and Tomlinson is able to run it out to close to a first down I think he has it Jason Ferguson up at the 36 very close you know what I like about Tomlinson I've always liked he always looks fresh I mean you watch him and, and here we are in the in the fifth period of a game and he looks as fast and as quick as he did when he when he came out of the tunnel for introduction spotted right at the 35 at second down short one breeze flushed out he's outside the pocket and he can afford to throw that one away it'll be third down and short Flush that by Brian Thomas so Marty shot Heimer he's been in so many of these games and in the history of the league, he is now the first coach to coach four postseason overtime games. He's won two and lost one. Don Shula coached in three. Well, you know, those are two very good coaches, two of the all-time best. And, and you're going to do that when you win a lot of games and get in a lot of playoffs. You're going to have a lot of those kinds of records. Third and one, Breeze comes up in the shotgun here, a high snap, and then he gives it to Tomlinson, and Tomlinson tries to roll his way to a first down. And where are they going to put it? Yep, he has just enough, apparently. Andre Wash, the umpire, is there and looked like, well, no, he doesn't. He does not. No, they tried to fool him there. They went uh, three wide receivers, got the Jets in nickel. Tried to get him spread out and just run that draw, but it looked because the snap was high, it looked like the timing was thrown off a little. And again, it's the backup center, Bob Howland, because Nick Hardwick was hurt earlier and hasn't been back. They're going to measure. Again, the yellow line is unofficial, but he doesn't appear to have it, and he does not officially. So a curious call to begin with third and short you've got Tomlinson in the game you go into a shotgun with a backup center you try to run an inside handoff and you come up short yeah, and I think I, I think it all started because of the, the the bad snap and this is a situation here that the fans want you to go for it you win the flip and you want to take advantage of that but I think you have to punt it but I don't know that Marty's going to punt it I think he is going for it. Or maybe remember the last time he got in this situation and he drew him off sides with a hard right. count. Maybe he's going to do that, and if they don't jump, punt it. But if I were in this situation, I would punt it. I would, too. Robertson jumped the last time. I'll be shocked if they snap it. I'll be shocked if Robertson were to jump this time. <laughs> He's just trying to join. Yeah. Then they're gonna. Did they take the time out? They, they did. They didn't let the clock run out. That's too critical of five yards here to take a delay of the game. In comes the punting group now. Jets will get the football. Darner had to go into another pregame warm-up. <laughs> Santana Moss is free. Back for the Jets. Santana Moss. Back to receive it. How'd you like to be that guy? <laughs> Ooh. David then is the snapper.
kick away. Short kick, but it takes a good San Diego bounce. And it's down to the 26-yard line. Seven times through the air. Well, the Jet defense did their job to, to hold off and get their offense back in the field. You know, they always talk about that rule that, you know, if you win the coin flip, you win the game. But, okay, they, they lost the coin flip, but here's their opportunity. From the 26-yard line. Play fake. Pennington throws. And that is dropped that time by McCarrens, who gets hit by Jerry Wilson simultaneously with the ball arriving. It'll be second down and ten. Yeah, I'll tell you, Chad Pennington's done a pretty good job, I think. I mean, we know that he has a bad shoulder, a rotator cuff injury, and like he said yesterday, he said, I just hope adrenaline takes over. I mean, adrenaline is one of the greatest drugs that there is, and it's just nature just supplies it in a big game, and he has it now, and I think after you throw on first down, you're kind of committed to throw the next two. Second down and 10 from the 26-yard line. And Pennington, decent protection, but the secondary does its work. And finally, Foley comes in to take him down. Hey, everyone, everyone always wants to pass on first down, and it's great. But if it's not complete, then you end up on second and long. And here comes Steve Foley. He's a linebacker that in that three-man line is usually the rush guy. And he has all those moves. He has the speed, and he has the quickness, and he brings it. And he'll bring it again on this down. And the rain begins to fall for the first time in about an hour and a half. Well, the weather has been a non-factor tonight. Third down and 10 from the 26. Pennington stepping up, throwing to the sideline, and the pass is incomplete. Tried to hit McCarron, so it is a very fast three and out for the New York Jets. Each team has had the ball, and we've only played two minutes and 33 seconds in overtime. Toby going four punts tonight. Eric Parker back to receive. You know, don't you feel if one of the teams has momentum right now, it's the Chargers? Well, they should have fairly decent field position, if nothing else. From the 33, Parker's going to come back this way. Nothing but white shirts. Nowhere to go. And they'll get the ball at about the 31-yard line. So for the Chargers now, what they need to do, basically, is gain about 40 yards, 45 yards, at least to put Kading in a position to win the game with a field goal. I think when you're in this part of the field, you, you, you think in terms of first downs. And that's what... The Chargers are thinking of Drew Brees now is let's get one first down. Then after you get that first down, you're about to 40. Okay, let's get another first down. Then you're past midfield. Then another first down. Then you play from there. You don't go for a whole bundle right now. Out of the gun. Brees on first down from the 30-yard line. And that pass is incomplete. And you begin to wonder now, and I said the weather has not been a factor when we talked about it, but at this point, as it begins to rain again and the ball begins to get slick again, that one looked like it might have been a, a situation that the rain did come into play. Yeah, and that's and that's the thing that the, you know, talking to both quarterbacks about, you know, throwing a wet ball or a wet field, that's, that's the thing that they worry about is the grip. And sometimes, you know, you'll have a looser grip and the ball will slip out, and other times, you grip too tightly and the ball slips out. Second down and 10 from the 30 yard line. Breeze, good protection this time. Fires over the middle. It's about a five yard gain. As he goes to the tight end gates, he's tackled there by Jonathan Vilma. Third down and five coming up for San Diego. And this is where you like that, 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 that tight end and where they're so strong. In the middle, when you're playing zone, I mean, he's just such a big target in there. You know, you talk about that radius, that catching radius that he has. That's not a perfect pass. It's a little behind him, but he just kind of reaches out halfway and pulls it, just snags it right out of the air, which brings up this big down, as you just said. Third down and five from the 35 again with a backup center out of the shotgun with a wet football. 
And Breeze throws, and that's a first down. Eric Parker makes the catch. First down, San Diego at their own 43. Yeah, the Jets come on a blitz here, so Parker is out there. He knows he knows it's about third and five. They have a little cushion on the blitz, so the thing that you do is you just get your first down and stop. Drew Brees saw it and got the ball out of there quickly. You see the blitz coming? Drew Brees knows he has to get the ball out of there quickly. Parker had run his hook enough for the first down. A little more than four minutes into overtime at the 43-yard line on the ground to Tomlinson. Gain of one. They're going to try to set up a Cading field goal. Cading is a rookie. So if he gets the opportunity in the history of the NFL, there's been only one rookie with a game-winning kick in the last two minutes of a game or in overtime in postseason. You have to go back to Super Bowl V. Jim O'Brien was a rookie when he kicked the field goal to win it for Baltimore. I remember that game. Mm -hmm. I would have I would have guessed Jan Stenerud or someone. Mm -hmm. well, O'Brien made it. Kading hopes to be in a position to duplicate it. Second down and nine. Breeze to Tomlinson. Breaking tackles. Across the 50, close to a first down. He broke out of a Jonathan Vilma tackle, and now San Diego is back where it was on the last series. When on third and one, they made a curious call out of a curious formation and didn't make the first down. Yeah, it was funny on that last play, Jonathan Vilma was the guy that tackled uh, 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 Tomlinson right at the line of scrimmage. This time, Tomlinson won that battle, made Vilma miss, and almost got the first down to bring up this play. I said a curious formation because it was a shotgun on third and one this time conventionally under center goes Breeze. I like this a lot better. Yes. And Breeze will sneak it for a first down. To the 46-yard line. Do they get him in a little bind there? They bring him, they bring in three wide receivers, get him in nickel, get him spread out. And you want to spread out because they have three wide receivers, but then they also have Tomlinson back there. And then Drew Brees says when he sees this middle like this, he can just take a quarterback sneak. When you get a middle and there's just four guys and the linebacker is that far off, that is almost automatic. First and 10 from the 45 yard line. They go to their horse. Tomlinson picks up a couple to the 43 yard line. You know, you think about when when both of these teams, you know, started having mini camps and then went to training camp and preseason and then the whole regular season and you play the game, you play the playoff game and then you get into overtime and it all comes down to right now. I mean, everything that's why you lift them weights. And it all comes down. <laughs> I mean, all that running, those weight lifting, everything you've been doing comes down to having to make plays right now, both offensively and defensively. And as you say, John, such finality for the loser. Next game, August. Second down and eight. Breeze throwing, caught. Tomlinson looking for the first down. He has it. So they're at the 32 yard line. They're indicating field goal range, but you don't go for it here. On this field, in, under these conditions with a rookie kicker, Schottenheimer will feel a lot better with just one more first down. Didn't you feel in overtime, though, that Ladanian Tomlinson was just fresher than everyone else? Yes. I mean, you just look here, and he still has that burst. He still has that juking. He still has the quickness to make plays like that. From the 33, seven and a half into overtime. Tomlinson again swings to the outside inside the 30 taken down to the 25 yard line. You know one of the reasons I think that the Chargers are going to Tomlinson all the time is because he's probably their best player. But the other reason is on this whole drive the Jets have been playing nickel. So, so one thing one thing you do when they want to play your nickel take out a linebacker play with an extra defensive back you want to run them out of that and that's what the Chargers are doing. He's beat and the Jet defense looks beat too. The, the Chargers have run 73 plays tonight and San Diego takes a timeout if for nothing else for no other reason than to give Tomlinson a breather. Yeah I was just saying how fresh he looked and he did look fresh but. This drive is taking the last drops out of his tank. It'll be a lot fresher in about a minute and a half. Time out. 
You know, Volkswagens are built for the Autobahn. Oh, yeah. The jet is built to perform at higher speeds, so it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. Really holds the road. We might want to... Uh, uh, next one's fine. Yeah, so let's just... <laughs> Getting hungry? Want to find out what makes a Volkswagen a Volkswagen? Come drive it. You'll get it. Woo! Sweet ride. Yeah. That was amazing. Let's do it. Tired of waiting for your reward? With Thank You From City, you get great rewards that are easy to earn, easy to redeem. That's a card you can count on. into overtime. San Diego took a timeout. Furman Edwards defense trying to hold. San Diego already in field goal range. And it's second down and one from the 24-yard line. Breeze is going to try to sneak it for a first down. And he's going to get it. He gets it at the 22. And now the big question for Schadenheimer becomes... At what point do you send Caden in? And John, the amazing thing about the Chargers, and there is Caden. The whole thing, you go back to Eli Manning saying, don't draft me, I'm not going. They draft him. Then they affect the deal with New York, the Phillip Rivers thing. They get draft picks in it. One of the draft picks is used to pick Caden. Is that coming full circle and or that, what? That is full circle. And shortly it could all be on his shoulders. but. That that is where I think the Chargers, you know, have done such a great job this year. I mean, ended up 12 and four is is they have a lot of adversity. They were four and 12 last year. Eli Manning doesn't want to come. That you know the whole and instead of getting down and staying down, they just bounce back up. They're going to measure. He appeared to have it at first. Now in this situation here, I I believe that you take a shot at the goal line. Now I know that.
the ball to the second pylon to Dave Casper and try that. So I figured <laughs> if I did that, I'd had two shots. So anyway, that's what we did. I think that's the play. I think somewhere in here, before you go for the field goal, you take the shot at the end zone. This is the scene, of course, of the fabled Holy Roller. Yes, yes, <laughs> it was. Going this way, too. Absolutely. First and ten. <laughs> right about in this situation, in this, in this part of the field. From the 23 yard line. Conservative, conventional call, Tomlinson. 22 yard line. Well, I wonder if Kading likes uh, one part of the shot before he tries for the field ball, though. Second down and 11 from the 23 yard line. Tomlinson again. Mm -mm. Now, you want to send him in here because if you have a botched snap or hold, you would get a second opportunity. Again, you're looking at about a 40 yard field goal. Well, the Chargers will not kick on third down. Tomlinson, and he'll get a cup. So it's the 21, it's fourth down. Kading and the group coming in to try to win the game. They're trying to send them back east next weekend. It will be about a 39 yard field goal. See where they spot it. David attention to all year. Not in the locker room, not a practice. And now it's all up to him. Here's your ball game. And he's going to miss it wide to the right. Wow. And all of the air comes out of the stadium. And the Jets will get the ball at the 30 yard line. You see, Eric Barton, he, he feels awfully well, awfully good about that. I mean, this day, remember we said you can put it in the middle, the right, or the left. They ran the ball to the right, which put the ball on the right hash mark, which means the ball in the right hash mark, you have to bring it in left a little. He just kept it on the right hash mark, and he just kind of pushed it straight outside. I, I know it's a, a second guess in a way, and we're on the other side of it, but I just I didn't like what the Chargers did. They ran those three plays. I mean, why run three plays field goal range but you still have to make the kick and the Chargers were moving and the jet defense was gassed and now of course it all shifts to the green and white from the 30 yard line here's Martin and they stop him after a gain of four so now Martin can assume the role that Tomlinson did on that last series and try the 34 yard line Chargers showing blitz. They come. Pennington hit as he throws, and the pass is into the hands of Moss, and he makes the catch. Moss makes the catch across the 50 at the 48 yard line. The ruling was on the field that the hands were under the ball. The replay shows that the ball moved, but the hands did appear to be under the ball. Therefore, the ruling stands as called. It's completed pass, first down. Same way we saw it. Yep. Can come up with a big play. And Moss were in the parking lot for hours, and the game is now almost four hours old. We we're here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Martin. They try to stand him up, and Curtis just keeps on moving. And it's a game of a couple to the 46. I'll say one thing for this Charger defense that inside running has been very, very difficult for the Jets. <laughs> Again, that's Kevin Mawai blocking on Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams doing a heck of a job. I mean, Kevin Mawai is a six-time All-Pro. I mean, he's a he's a heck of a player himself. Second and seven. Pressure begins to build now on Doug Bryan, the Jets kicker. Pennington with that hop and throw and up in the air and making the catch and holding it in for a first down is Justin McCarran. And now the Jets are closing in on field goal range at the 34 yard line 11 yard game. You know Chad Pennington has never had a strong arm anyway but he knows when to get the ball out and where to put it and that's the toughest throw you have to throw. You know you say how's your strong arm and you always think of the deep throw but it's throwing that out and come back especially from the wide side. Pennington 279 yards tonight. 
Jordan's in the backfield. Jordan gets in behind Gerald Soul, and Jordan goes down the sidelines, and Jordan has a first down at the 15-yard line. And now well within range for Brian. Soul made a good block on that play, and I think that's one of the reasons, and one of the things that Herm Edwards was talking about, you need an explosive play. And when you can't run inside, then you have to get the ball outside. Then if you have to get the ball outside, then you'd like a Lamont Jordan in there to do it. Now, I still think the same thing for the Jets here. First down, I think before you, you settle to try for a field goal, you try and get the touchdown. Jordan is the back. Jordan to the outside. Puts his head down, gets three, goes to the 12-yard line. This might be the last play before they bring Brian in because, again, you, you give yourself a better chance on third down in case the snap is bad or the hold is bad. You still have another shot. Brian's been shaky tonight. Remember that the field goal that he made was the double doink. That's why I think I would, I would still try and take his shot. Look at here how far that corner is off there. Second and seven. Jordan he gets it to the nine yard line and let's see if they bring in Brian and it appears that they will here he comes so you had the rookie Kading now Brian's been around a long time 11 years in the league a lot of pressure situations and I've known I've known Doug Brian for a long time and I've always I've always felt that he is very, very good under pressure. I never felt that pressure really bothered this guy. He doesn't make every kick. But I don't think he's one of those guys that is unnerved. 28-yard attempt. And the New York Jets have pulled it out, but hold everything. It was waved off because the Chargers took a timeout at the very last second. Right, and they Millisecond. did. Yeah, I saw the official start to run in and wave his hand before that ball San Diego, was kicked. Called by the coach. That's their second. It's a 30 second timeout. He got a practice swing in. <laughs> and at Schottenheimer, it's a new rule this year a coach can call a timeout. Yeah, and usually you have that official, you're close to that official, and you tell them you're going to. And they related to the other official, and he started to run in and wave his hands before that. That snap came, so that wasn't one of those things that, you know, happened after. Eight seconds left in the fifth period. Again, Doug Bryan stays out there, but he is going to respot it. See, see, do they go through that whole thing? He shows him where he wants to spot it. The holder shows where he's going to put it. Pennington holding on to a bishop. Girth to snap it. Going to hold it. 28 yards to win the game. Got it. And the New York Jets will fly home. And for Eric Barton, a reprieve. He got off the figurative football death row. And for Nate Kading, he may fall asleep by Monday. And that's one thing that, that Eric Barton will never forget, but as I said earlier, a win will help it. A win is going to help it. He's still not going to forget it. Perfect snap, perfect hole, and a perfect kick. <laughs> <laughs> Prayer Did answered. I dodge one? Ooh. He will not go down in jet infamy. Pennington.